Welcome to day two, where we're gonna be building the Amazon clone from scratch. It's going to look absolutely beautiful. I hope that you are excited about this, okay? This is day two of the challenge. Get excited, get pumped, because we're gonna be doing something absolutely incredible. Remember, you're gonna build the Amazon clone from absolute scratch, okay? And then you're gonna be going on to put it on your portfolio. So a lot to cover. We're gonna have to go through this a little bit fast. So if you're freaking out, don't. If you're a complete beginner, will this be a little bit tough? Absolutely. But chill, learn, watch, and pay attention. So if you're here, make sure you're completely locked in. All right, 100% focus. And today we also have David with us. What's up, hey, David? What's up? How are you doing, God? <laughs> He's excited. So guys, we're live. We got yeah. 200 people on here. Smash that like button. Actually break it if you can. And here's what's going to be happening, guys. So I wanted to make sure that when you guys are working on this Amazon clone, right, you're going to be building absolutely amazing things. You're going to be learning about state management. You're going to be learning about React. You're going to be mastering JavaScript. When you, you're going to be learning about the React router. If you hit add to cart, it'll add things to your cart. Keep in mind, this is not the real Amazon, folks. This is actually our own Amazon. You can even take a look at that. And that's what you're going to be building. So it's going to blow the minds of the people, you know, that are your recruiters. This also will have login, logout functionality. So you can see that I'm currently logged in right over here and you got this cart item. Now, one important thing that I want to share with you is guys, today, what I want to do is make sure that you have the best JavaScript instructor on the planet. Okay. Somebody who is gotten job opportunities from some of the biggest companies in the world, like Microsoft, Twitter, Palantir. And I wanted to make sure that you're learning the best from the best. So without any further ado, guys, give it up and drop some fire in the comment because you're going to be having Nas teaching this and blowing your mind. So give it up and let's bring on Nas and let's do this thing. Let's go. All right, guys. Enjoy. You guys are going to crush it, okay? Pay attention. Pay attention indeed. All right, let's do it. Let's do it. Woo. What is up, everybody? I hope you guys are doing amazing. Great to see you all. So many, so many beautiful comments. So many beautiful people between Faizan to Natalia to Sahish to Adik to, to Sahi Akash. What is up, John? Good to see you guys as, as always, guys. So we're going to get started really quickly, guys. We're working on the Amazon clone. Make sure you are ready. Make sure you have your your computers ready. Make sure you got your seat, your butt in your seat, because uh, it's going to be a bumpy ride. All right, guys? So really quick, guys. All right, so the first day of the challenge was pretty sick, guys, as we, as we went through the challenge. I just want to go really quickly in terms of what you guys did so far in the challenge. Let's take, go ahead and take a look at this. All right, guys? So as you guys know, we had day one. That was amazing. Let me go and go through this. Day one, we built, well, this, this is part one of the Amazon clone. That's what we're going to build today, right? Yesterday was day one. And are you ready? Yes or no? Let's get to it straight. So if, if you know, do not disturb. If you have any questions or if you want to go ahead and share what you've done, make sure to tag us on Instagram and so forth. That's very important. Guys, yesterday was insane. I'm not kidding. We had 17K views right here look at this 70k views on day one 740 plus live viewers 200 plus homework submissions insane all right and of course you can see that's the stats right there so you need and here are some people who create some amazing projects from yesterday which is what we what did we do well we built a what we built your own portfolio project look at this Right here, Muzamil built an amazing project. We have, what else? We have Sahrish, Olai Wola built an amazing project. And here's some amazing projects again from Natalia, for example. She put, let's see, Natalia. I see you in the comments all the time. I see you, Natalia. I see you. I see you. Holy mo, look at that. Looking great. Looking amazing. Of course, then we have James. Let me see James as well. Looking awesome as well. Hi all, I am James. That looks, whoa, amazing job, guys. One thing I highly recommend for you is as you guys are building these clone, uh, not as you guys are building the clone or the portfolio, I highly recommend you try something to add something of your own. Maybe add your own style to it. 
that's a big recommendation from me. Let me see. We have Saeed right here as well. Let me see. 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 Whoa. Let's go. Let's go. Beautiful, guys. Awesome. Somebody said that he's a clever programmer right there. <laughs> nice. <laughs> I like that. Template, <laughs> Software engineer, clever programmer. I like that. <laughs> Sweet. So what's going to happen for today, guys, is, as you know, what we're building is we are building the Amazon clone. It exactly looks exactly like it is right here. And no, this is not... This is not Amazon clone. This is not just an Amazon, but this is an Amazon clone. We can literally go ahead, we can add to cart. You can see as you add to cart, you have your cart right here. As I go ahead and increase the quantity, the number right here changes. So everything's dynamic and it's working beautifully. You'll get a chance to know how to build this and you'll get a chance to actually upload it live for people to see, okay? Awesome. All right. What's the last thing we're going to do? Don't forget the prize is we have free enrollment in six months online coding bootcamp. That's going to be awesome. So this is a 15K bootcamp, guys. Insane. So this is a 15K worth prize, guys. Now, how can you win? Very easy. Be positive. Engage in the chat. Don't spam. Very important. Participate all five days. Do the homework. Make the full project. And if you add extra features, that is a bonus. Okay? So... At this point, who's ready? Who's ready to win it? I'm in it to win it. Are you guys ready? Yes or no? Let me go. Let me know in the chat below because we are getting started on the code today. So let's go. Let's get to it. I am pumped. Hey. Oh. All right, guys. So really, really slowly. Really slowly. You guys can see me. Beautiful. Okay. So where do we start out, okay, in terms of this Amazon clone, okay? We gotta start a few different places, of course, but what do we need to do? Well, first thing I need to do, guys, is uh, I've told you guys, by the way, I'm sure you guys know David here. David, say hi. <laughs> hey, what's up? Good, good, good. <laughs> so <laughs> what I want you guys to do is either Mac or Windows, what you need to do is let's go ahead and open up a, a folder, any folder that you have. So we have a folder here that we have a bunch of projects. And on a Mac, what I like to do is I like to do right click. I like to go ahead and for example, let me go ahead and right click on a folder. I like to do, and then I do services and I do new terminal at folder, okay? So I'm going to create a project first. So you should have had VS Code installed. You should have had NPM installed. If you don't, no problem. Again, very important guys, just as a disclaimer. If you cannot keep up with me, that's okay. The point of this is for you guys to see what you can do, okay? It's to see what you're possible with coding, all right? Think of this as a magic show, okay? And so just enjoy it, have fun, you know, be positive in the comments and that's it. And then after the video, then you can come back and then, you know, do it, right? That is if you cannot keep up. If you can keep up, perfect, no problemo. Hold on, let's see here. What's up? We got Natalia going, hi, David. That's amazing. Hey, Armando saying, I'm in it to Beautiful, win it. beautiful. I love your guys' engagement. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Keep it up, guys. <laughs> keep it up. Let's keep going. Awesome, sweet, sweet. See, I'm going to put the comments in here so I can see just a little bit. There yes. we go. There we go. Magic show, Natalia says. That is amazing. Yes, yes, yes. All right, guys. So what I want you guys to do is once you open up the terminal, what you need to do is very simple. It's going to clear some of this out. And then, again, this could be Windows or Mac Terminal. I'm going to make this larger for you so you guys ha see it, okay? There we go. What, I want you, what you want to do is you want to do npx create-react-app, okay? That's the first you thing you want to do. share your screen too. Yeah, I'm sharing my screen now. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> so, npx create-react-app. And what this will do is this will create a React project, okay? So, let's go and call it the Amazon clone I just say challenge, okay? Maybe that's what we do. I'm gonna call it challenge. So NPX create React. Now you can see sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't, okay? Not an issue whatsoever. I think it's because I need to go on CD and go back to GitHub page. There we go, now this should work. So I'm gonna do NPX create dash react dash app, and then we're going to do Amazon dash clone dash challenge. Let's see, there we go. React Amazon clone challenge contains files that could that, oh, so basically we already have a project that, lo that looks like that. So let's create a different project that says npx create <laughs> react dash app. I'm going to say Amazon clone, Amazon dash clone dash challenge dash official. How about that? There we go. Beautiful. And we are, you know, I mean, we're going. That's so how we're going. We're going on the bus. What's up? 
Yo, yeah, we well, got a donation you, from Ang. Ang, what's up, Ang? Great to have, great to have you here, man. Thank you so much for the fifteen dollar donation. Ang just recently recently landed a job for a company from by being in our boot camp after being in our boot camp, which is insane. So proud of you, man. I'm so proud to have students like that. Okay, sweet. All right, let's go ahead. All right, so boot camp for like two months or something. What's up? He wasn't. He wasn't even going through the whole boot camp. He was in like for two months, and he already got this job. Yeah, right? it's insane. Only two months in, he already he's already in it. It's it's crazy, right? So, all right, perfect, guys. Yeah. So we got the project. Everybody see it? Yes or no? Everybody see it? There you go. Everybody says congrats on amazing, amazing. <laughs> The bus with gas. Yes, yes. Congrats on beautiful. <laughs> <laughs> That's awesome. Sweet, sweet, sweet. Yo, liquid. I think I got it. Oh, <laughs> beautiful. Awesome. So we have this is the project. So as you can see, when you go to this project, after you start this project, that's it. You have the project there, okay? That's it. The project is there, right? So let's go back to it. And then what's going to happen now is when you open up the project in VS Code, you should do file, open. So let's go ahead and do VS Code. You want to do file, you want to do open here, right there. And then as the file open, you can see here, I'm going to go back to my content, my GitHub. And you see, this is the official. So we create this one. I have this one. That's the one I created before. I'm, I'm going to use this one, but you should create the one, use the one that you would just create it. So let's click on the folder, click open. Good. And we have the project right here. Beautiful. So now, right away, guys, you have the project. Check this out. Like, think about this. You have the project right there. This is called a starter project, and it has include include includes a few files. First files includes app.js. Then we have index.js. You know, and so forth, and so forth, and so forth. Where's my phone? I don't know where my phone goes. My phone's on somewhere. I'm not sure where my phone is. That's okay. So, <laughs> so <laughs> what now? What these files are? I will explain it in a little bit, guys. No worries. No worries. Uh, one thing I want to do, let's go and actually create, let's actually start up this project. So what I want you to do is very simple. You want to go ahead and right click on yarn lock, right click on this and do open in integrate terminal. Okay. All right. And then what you want to do is you want to do NPM, inst NPM, NPM install. Is that right? Or NPM start? NPM start. What N you want to do? Yeah. NPM start. NPM start. And what this does, guys, is this literally starts up the project for you. Okay. Beautiful. I want to say yes. You might not have to say that because... We already have the project there. Beautiful. All right, let's see. Let's see. Let's see. What do we have? Hey, there we go. That is the project we have right there. So again, not Amazon clone. I know. I know. It's not Amazon clone. Don't worry. This is the starter project that React.js provides for us. Understood? Comprende? Comprende. <laughs> 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 oh, so now you want to share, uh, now you want to give me a live share. All right, now I'm going to give you the live share. Oh, did I, did I change my stuff? Is that why? So I'm going to do a live share. No, it's the, the finished project that you gave me. I think, oh, really? Oh, man, what, what was I thinking? <laughs> no, I did not. Really? No, that's the one right here. I'm sharing with you right there, this one. Are you sure? The project I'm sharing with you. Yeah, this is the one, yeah. David. Oh, yeah, this is the one. What, what are you talking about, okay. David? All right, David, David is, I don't know what's wrong, David. So, guys, a few things that we need to do. So, let's go ahead and remove this deal. Let's remove this. What I want you to do is remove this header right here. We don't need that, okay? Need that. need, need the header. And instead, what I want you guys to focus on is, in the, is a few things. You see, when you build a React.js project, when you build a React.js project, it is very, very simple, right? You want to think about how are we going to divide this project up, right? Because when you think about... Um, What's it called? When you think about React.js or anything, or any, or any sort of project that you're building, okay, you want to split it up into a few parts, okay? And so what we're going to do right now is we're going to split up the components, we like to call it, all right? So components are what? Components are building blocks, is what I like to say. So I'm going to say right here, they're building blocks. And for example, this header right here is a building block. You see that right there? That's a building block, okay? And then everything underneath the header is a building block, right? Think of it as a block. Again, anything that's a block, it's a building block, okay? Then what you got, what do you have? Then you have this banner right here. That's also a building block, okay? And then you have these small things right here, and these are building blocks as well. You see right there, right there, right there, and right there, okay? So well, what we're going to do is we're going to think about a few different things that you know we need to work on in terms of to create this, all right? Remember, big idea, Divide into small ideas, okay? So what's going to happen? What's going to happen? 
So many sides. Like, can you make the font a little bigger? You got it. You got it. I can make the font a little bigger right here for you. Is that better? I think that's better, right? I think it's better for you guys. Yeah, yeah. yeah, I think so. There we go. That's better. Awesome. So if what, what I just said, these are the building blocks, the header. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to create a header component, right? That's going to be the part one. That's going to be the part one that we're going to build. So let's go ahead and look at this page. You see, if I refresh this page, right? If I go ahead and save this page and I refresh this, now it's a blank page. Don't worry. Don't panic. It's all good. All right? No bueno. All good. So what I want to do instead is I'm going to create a header component because that's one of the building blocks that I just talked about, right? So this header component. So what we're going to do is I'm going to do source. I'm going to say new file and we'll say header.js. Header.js right here. .js. Go right there. And that's going to be your component now. Again, it's a JavaScript file, but it's, it's going to contain everything. So right here, as you can see, David's already typing. What, he, what David just typed, I'm going to remove this here for a second. What David just typed is he typed in RFCE. Oh, David, let me just type it. Hold on, David. <laughs> RFCE. <laughs> Okay, my bad. But <laughs> so <laughs> RSCV is a shortcut, guys. When I do this, it creates the header component right there. And so now if I say header on here, okay, say header here, on here, nothing really shows up, as you can see, correct? But, but, what do I need to do, David, in that, in that case? Huh? Tell me, what do you think? You need to import it to your application. Because exactly. right now it's just a component. So yeah. let's go exactly. So let's go ahead and import it. I'm going to go app.js. I will import it. So what's going to happen is I will do it like this, and I will do import, import guys header. I'm going to say dot slash header right there. Import header, header from from header like this, like, like so. You guys can see that right there. Beautiful, right? So it's going to import now. When I say import header from it's going to import this component from where? From here, which is actually just right here, just so you guys know, okay? Just basically from there, beautiful. And so now what's gonna happen is that David's gonna type in header, as you can see right there. He just typed in header right there in the header box. And this is a component. It's like a div tag, guys, right? right? Think of it as a div tag, but it is a component. And so now if I go ahead and save this, I go back to here and boom, right there, you have the header. Let's go. That is beautiful, okay? <laughs> that is it right there. Let me go see what you guys are saying. Whew, let's go, let's go. Import the JSX. Rubena, what's up, what's up, everyone? That beautiful, 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 beautiful. <laughs> beautiful. Good night, everybody. Love your content. Thank you so much. I appreciate you. Thank you so much. Awesome. So we got the header component. Now, one thing I'm going to do is go ahead and make some cleanup. So I'll go to app.css. I like to remove all this stuff. We don't need this right here. Right there. I'm going to remove all this stuff right here. Don't need this. And what I like to add is I like to do margin zero. So margin zero. So what is margin, David? Huh? Tell me. It's basically um so as you guys could see it, everything was centered in the in the very center. And mm -hmm. we just removed all the all the styling. Now, in terms of margin, that's um little something uh, on the very side and it's just yes. a few uh pixels usually now mm -hmm. it's going to be zeroed out so basically everything that you put into your application is going to be snapped to the side of your window beautiful exactly so it's gonna be snapped to the side of the window beautiful which is exactly, exactly. what so now you can see he header now you see this right here it's snapped to the side of the window as you guys it's see right left. there all right beautiful yeah. So now we go ahead of the JS. One thing I want to do is I want to create the CSS file, but actually we're not going to use CSS for this. We're going to use something called styled components, which is the really cool part, okay? Ooh. Don't worry about it, okay, what we'll, we'll say. So on the header, what's going to happen? If we think about this, let's go and now divide up the header. Here's our Amazon clone right there, okay? What do we have in the header? Well, we have a few things, all right? Let's think about this, I'm going to rectangle. So here's a header, boom, 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 boom. Here's the header right here, beautiful. Now. How do we divide this? Very simple. Well, we have the logo, right? We had the say hello address, okay? We had the search bar. We have what? We have the hello Nazari account list. And then what else do we have? What else do we have? Tell me, returns huh? Orders. And then we also have Those the re returns orders. And then we have a card section right there. You see, guys? So by having these specific components, we now know what to create. So let's think of this. I'm going to keep this on here. So Let's go and do this. Um, David, let's create the first component, which is the name should be, let's go ahead and name the component uh, 
what should we call this? The component, huh? Tell me. Let's do header logo component, okay? So let's create a component header called logo. header That's logo. Yes, let's go to component. Uh, do we want to introduce styled components right now? Yes. So what's what's going to happen is, check this out, guys. Instead of doing this, exactly. what I will do is I will say header logo, header logo like this, okay? Boom, right there. So what is this? It's like a div right here, of course, but it's really nothing so far until we import style components. And to import style components, what I want you guys to do is let's go ahead and do plus on the terminal here. And let's go ahead and do, and then we'll do, we'll do npm install styled dash components right there. Components, beautiful components. So let's go ahead and install that. What those are is you're like, you're styling a component in JavaScript. So instead of having to put in a CSS file, you're going to put it into a JavaScript file, okay? Just so you guys know. Beautiful. All right, so that's, let me see, stock components is not in the NPM address. Let me see, let me go ahead and take a look, make sure, what is it though? NPM. Dash components, right? Style components, right there. Just wanna make sure what is the name of that, of that NPM package. NPM right there, whew. Boom right there, beautiful. Style dash components. Come on, open it up. Beautiful. Let's go ahead. So we got that. Look at that. Two million weekly, almost three million weekly downloads. That's insane. <gasps> that is insane. It's using, right? Huh? Industry standards right here. What's up? Industry st industry standard. Right there. So right I'm gonna copy here. this specific thing. I'm gonna copy this one. Uh, sure. That's fine, David. That's fine. You wanna read my terminal? That's fine. Let me see style components Thanks. all right beautiful so it looks like it's downloading now is it yeah right there so style components have officially been installed which is amazing and now what we do at this point is we need to import style components so i'm going to say inside here i'm going to say import styled right there i'm going to open up this from. boom 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 import styled from from what styled styled dash components components beautiful style components so imported that we imported the package you guys that means we can now use it for those of you who are completely new with this stuff okay so now to use it here's what we're going to do i'm going to say const header logo right header logo logo is equal to what david style dot style dot div look at this you see style dot div so this basically created a component. We don't need to do like this even, right? But of course, so this basically is now like a div, okay? So header logo, check this out. And if I go back to my React app, you can see that if I go ahead and save this, okay? And if I refresh this, still nothing is there, but check this out, okay? Because if I go to header, let's, let's say header, I'm going to give this header, let's say a height of 60 pixels, of 60 pixels, Okay, let me see, 60 pixels. Boom, 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 boom. Ooh, how does 60 pixels, beautiful. And now I'm going to also give it a what? A, uh, let's say background color. Are you guys ready for this? Are you ready for this, bro? You better give be it ready. Blue. Background color, I'm gonna give this color right here. Make sure you guys copy this on your own, okay? Background color, boom, right there. So I'm gonna save this right here. All right. Oh, would you look at that, you see? Would you look at that? So here's what happens, right? We have this style component, right? This is the Amazon logo, which is, oh shoot, let me go ahead and do it like this. Let me go brush. So right there, this is this portion right here. You see this header logo? So now Dave is going to create the next one, which is going to be which one? What is the next one, David? Uh, next one's gonna it's be- It's going to be header option address. Uh, correct. So let's create the right. header option address. Yes, right here. So this one is gonna be the header option address. He's going to create another component right there. Beautiful. Let me make sure I go ahead and delete that a little bit. So yeah, header option address. And he's gonna also create a component in here, right there, I see. Beautiful. Nice, 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 nice. And we are at 328 likes. Let's go, beautiful oh, oh. guys. And we got five, almost five guys, 500 people, 500 people in this live video, all learning how to do, you know, pretty much everything. <laughs> How to build an Amazon clone, guys. And guys, as, we, <laughs> as you guys know, guys, make sure to smash the like button. Share this with you, everybody because the more this video gets out, right, the more we get to teach and the better it is for a community and everything. So 
Smash the like button, help us destroy this, not destroy, but smash, uh, help us with the YouTube algorithm and so forth, and we'll be all good, all right? All right, let's continue on. All right. Let's get to 400 likes, guys. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> all right, what um, is it, David? What's up? So, we, we got the Heather option address. That's basically okay. one of the uh, pieces right there next to it. Good, 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 um, good. What we can do is, actually, I have... Uh, What's up? This snippet over here, and I can just put it right in there. Uh, Ooh, what is this snippet, huh? Tell me. So what basically, is this is, uh, these are two span tags with mm -hmm. uh, their specific class names. Mm -hmm. And it's just telling, uh, it's just saying the word hello on mm -hmm. the top. Mm -hmm. and, the, uh, and the one down below is saying select your address. It's Correct. basically the, the little piece, if you go to Amazon.com, you will see the exact same stuff. Uh, exactly. So kind of like when you do hello, so like you are, as you can see, right? And so what we can exactly. do, these are here, guys. Oh, and we have another donation. Let me see. Let me see. Let oh. me see. Now donation. Hey, let's go. Thank you so much. Just I love the videos. Thank you so much. Akito, appreciate it. CHF2, what is that? I'm not really sure what that is. Uh, <laughs> uh, that's... That's Swiss, Swiss French. Yeah, I'm think. not really sure that is. But guys, check this <laughs> out. So what's going to happen is this hello is a span tag, and we're going to convert this into an actual style component. So what we're going to do is this option line one, I'm going to say here, const option line one, right? Line oh, one. Go that far. Okay. Uh -huh. Option line one, yes. I want to go that far. Equals style.div, <laughs> okay? Right there, beautiful. Style.div. And... And then so forth. And we're going to we're going to add a style in a second here. And then we'll do const option. What is it? Line two. Option line two right there is equal to also style dot div. Style dot div right there. Style dot div. Okay. So and that's also going to be where we put the CSS and so forth. So we can that we got these four components at this point right here, and you can see David right here is create them into components. So option line one, option line two inside the header option address. Okay, beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. So what's going to happen now at this point is we need to style them. But let's see what we got so far. All right. So it says style is not defined. Style. I think it's because I probably spelled it wrong. <laughs> style. <laughs> style is not defined. There we go. Style and is you not. Have to put it in past tense. Oh, man. <laughs> Grammar, bro. Styled. Come on, save it. Oh. Okay, option line one. So, style is not defined. Okay. Let me go ahead and try. Hey, oh. there we go. Beautiful. Beautiful. Right there. So, it says, hello is like your address. Now, okay. Now, the one thing you have to think about is you see this header logo. This header logo is basically. The logo. Now we technically, technically we should have put this height on the not the logo. But technically we should have put this on the on the actual container. Yeah, there we go. Thank this you. The header level, yeah, right? Thank you. So we'll do. So basically, I just uh, deleted the div from here. Yes, yes, uh, yes, uh, yes. And then I'm just gonna go ahead and create a new style component. Good. So instead of doing oh. div, we do create a header. The reason why is because this will allow us to add the CSS with style components. <laughs> all right. Beautiful. Yeah, so let's exactly. go ahead and add that there. I can just paste it in here, bro. I have it. Right there beautiful right there you go ahead awesome sweet 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 uh -huh. so let's go ahead and save this all right and what do we have so far it says there's an error it's okay if you refresh this no problem const header style dot div oh we can't we have to do we have to make a container bro container like this you cannot just call it like that there you go oh really because the class name is the header that's why Let's go refresh this. Man. There we go. See? I and look, know that. I know you can't see anything on here, right? It says hello, select like your address. That's the only thing you can see, but that's pretty much it. So next thing I want to do is after the option select like address, let's go and actually add the logo in here, okay? And the logo is what? It's just an image source. So I'm gonna do image here. Yeah. So let me go ahead and do this part now. So we'll do image, image right here. Image source is equal to something. Don't worry about that just yet, okay? And we're gonna close it out. Now Right there. Now, the image source is, I mean, it's an image, right? So the image that we have here is actually right there. Let me go ahead and get this image for you. I'm going to give it, I have this image logo, which is actually here. I will put this for you guys in the comments so you guys can have it, okay? Beautiful. This is the image. You see, this is the Amazon logo image. So let's go ahead and do that. I'm going to paste it into here. I'm going to make it as a string. Boom, right there. And done. So save that. 
All right, amazing. Oh, let's go. David, if you, if you can go ahead and copy that image URL, this image URL I, for yeah. people, that will be already amazing. in the comments, guys. You're the best, bro. You're the best. You're the best. Awesome. I'm also going to put it to Facebook. Yeah, well, that's Everybody that's that's in a second here. So so now, let's think about this, okay? We have this logo here, right? And then what else do we have? Well, we have the logo here, and then we have the hello, select your address. Well, now I need to put them side by side, okay? Now, how do we do that, right? Because when we look, when we look at this, right? I mean, this is side by side, correct? It's side by side, right? Mm -hmm. So what we do is we use something called display flex, all right? Display flex. So what's gonna happen is I'm going to go to the container and I will say display display flex on the container. So I'll save that. Okay. Uh, let's see what happens now. Okay. So nothing happens at this point. Okay. Right now, what we're going to do is what what he's doing. What David is doing is doing align item center to center everything vertically. And if I go ahead and save this to make sure, and then he's going to just justify content center. Don't worry about that. Don't worry. Don't worry about the justify content just yet. Okay. Just do okay. align item center for now. So you can see the Amazon clone is not aligned center, but it's still horrible, guys. Right? Why is it's that? Big. Akito says, my last credit for you guys. Thank you so much. Appreciate you. Let's go. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. Thank you so much. <laughs> that is epic. I love you guys. Uh, love. So much love for everybody. That's always good to hear. All right, perfect. So we got that portion. Um, now let's go focus on the image itself. So if we have this header logo, right? Let's focus on the image. So let's do image. We'll do image. And... On the image, what I want to do is, well, technically a few things. I'm gonna give it a width of 100%, 100 pixels. Width of 100 pixels. Right there, right there. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to give it what? Well, nothing. Because look, if I give it a width of 100 pixels, that's it, look at this guys, this is done. You see this right here? Ooh. The Amazon logo only has a width of 100 pixels. The height will change automatically. And so it's no longer a hideous Amazon logo that's overflowing everything that we don't need. You know what I mean? Bada bing, bada boom. It's all done right there. One thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna give some margin to it. So I'm gonna say margin left, margin left, 11 pixels right there. So save that, margin left 11 pixels. And so that get add some space. So now just so you know, guys, so you guys know, what is margin? Well, margin is very simple, right? If I go ahead and, and do this right here, if this is the container, right, the margin is a space right there. Is a space right here. Boom. Right? A little space on the side. It's a space, you know, on the side. It's like almost like, for example, if you have, I don't know, let's just have, you have a piece of paper. Let's just say this, right? You guys got a piece of paper, okay? The margin is this, this space, okay? It's this space right there. Same thing here. It's the space here, right? It's the space here. The padding, on the other hand, that's the space inside. That's so-called padding, guys, just so you know, right? Beautiful. So, <laughs> I know, that's some. <laughs> that's my way of explaining things sometimes, you know, is using some, some visuals. So, let's go ahead and, and do this, all right? We've got the Amazon logo, that's great. We've got the header option address. What is next, David, huh? What do you think? Uh, so, next, I would actually add a color of white on, uh, yes. on the container level. Just yes. so we actually see what the text is. Let's see it. Let's see it. Color white. Nice. I think it's a. I think it's a good idea to to actually see what we're doing. I know. Right? I know. Right. <laughs> Only sometimes. Hey, there we go. Beautiful. Hey. <laughs> All right. Now, yes. I would actually continue not caring about the styling for a second and just uh, laying out the whole structure of the component. How about that? Okay, that's fine. That's fine. That's fine. So, okay, so let's continue laying out the structure. So we have the header option address right here. Next one we're going to work on is going to be the the input container, which is uh, let me go and do this. So I'm gonna while he's typing, this is the one right here. So he's going to create the header search right there, as you guys can see. Right. And so that one is gonna be very simple. The header search is just simply what right there. It's a put uh, with with actually an icon at the very end. Correct, correct. It's input with an icon right, right. there. Okay. Next one we're going to do is what? Well, the one we're going to work on is going to be this hello account Nazari's list. That's going to be a good one to work on. Um, <laughs> 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 so let's go ahead. I, I know, I know, I know. It's funny. I know, I know, I know. You got to have fun with it, man. You know, it's just, you know, it's about having some fun. You oh, know? yeah, you have to. 
<laughs> oh, sure. Yeah, yeah, exactly. So we got the input. There we go. So for and the actually, let me let me blow some minds here because so far we have only done only done uh, style.dev, but okay. right now are you ready? I'm gonna do. You guys, you guys have your mind blown. Get ready, guys. <laughs> <laughs> All right, go ahead. Yeah. Now I'm gonna do styled the input. Right there. Look at that. And so you see, basically he's just creating a component that. right there, and he's doing style dot input, guys. How cool is that? <laughs> Natalia's like, smile, David. <laughs> I'm smiling. Come on. <laughs> it's the second time I got it. <laughs> Look, guys, he's smiling. You see that? He's smiling. Trust me. Display flex. I'm good, 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 guy good. Over here. I'm just a little slow now. <laughs> oh my gosh. Awesome, uh, sweet guys. You guys are amazing. So many amazing comments, guys. Keep keep it keep, keep it going. Keep it going. All right, guys. So cool. All right. So you see, instead of doing style.div, we just created an input container, an input box, right? Just using this. And if I go ahead and save this, let's take a look at what how to does show it look that like? it Boom, actually right works. there, like, right? If I inspect down oh. on this one, guys, look at this. Let me go and remove us here from a little bit. If I go ahead and inspect I think it's production ready, bro. It's done. That's it. We finished the, the Amazon. Done. Thank you so Bye. much for watching, guys. Have yourself. I'm just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So you see this input right there? Look, that was this one right here, guys. Look at this, guys. This input right here that's in the actual uh, browser, right, that was uh, rendered. Boom. That's the one right there. That's what we just created, right? That's the input, guys, just so you know. Very simple. Very simple. All right. Beautiful. Where's my phone, though? There it is. All right. And then go ahead. Continue. All right, beautiful, amazing, amazing, awesome. So next up, right, what's going to happen? Well, a few simple things. So we got the input. What's the next one after that one going to be, which is the hello account as ours list? What can we do for that one, uh, David, huh? Tell me. Uh, before we do that, we will need to add another thing. It's going to be just an icon. Okay, uh, which icon? It, it, it's, it's a part of the header search. Okay, let's do that right so now. Header, whoa. Mm. We are at 452 likes. You guys are the best. That's all I can say to you. Mm. Beautiful. All right. Sweet, sweet, sweet. So had a search container right there. And so the icon that he's working on is very simple. He's working on this icon right here. Header search icon container, right? So it's going to be orange and then it's going to have an icon inside. So now let's think about Sorry. though. The big question is how do we get this icon? How do we get this icon, David? Huh? All right, for that, we should be using Material UI icons. Yes, yes. Say. So check this out, guys. We use Material UI icons. Material UI icons right there. Beautiful. Sweet, sweet, sweet. It's basically a completely free icon set provided Good. by Google. Open source. I'm not sure if it's open source, but you can use if it. You can use it, no problem. So it's open source. So I can click search, for example. I can type in search and hopefully it gives me search. Come on. All right, doesn't like, doesn't <laughs> want to give me search. Unless Google is broken or something. It's, oh, it's come on. Good. There we go. You see, so I got the search. These are all the search icons I have in front of me here. And so I click on one, and right away it tells me how do we go ahead and get it. So I'm going to go ahead and copy this right here. Boom. I'm going to import it on my side of the code. Okay, good. So we just copied that icon. Okay. Awesome. Now, of course, awesome. we still don't have access to this, guys. Because why? We need to also now install it. So you can see David here, what's he doing here? Well, he's installing it right there, right there. You see that right there? He's installing NPM UI, install M NPM material UI core, and also install material UI icons, right? So two things, two things, guys, two things. Dos. Let's see what we do. Let's see Dos how this works. Corta. Good. Good, 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 good. So we got oh, that, right? right? We got that. So that's installed the immaterial UI core. Guys, make sure to pay attention for the order. First, you have to install the core, then you can install the icons, okay? Because the icons good, 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 build good. on top of the core. Good, awesome. All right, so that's right, perfect. Cool. We've got that specific portion. So now if we're going to use this, you see now we can actually use the search icon and to use it, all I gotta do is just type it in like this. It's just like a component right there, you see? Yeah, it's David. actually a component. David, you're so fast at this. I just don't understand what it is. <laughs> 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 All right. One thing we're saying here is a header search container is not defined. The reason why is because we need to go ahead and create the component. So we'll say const. I see a non-faster David. Header, header, search. 
<laughs> okay. Surge container. You can do this one, okay? <laughs> container right there. Is equal to what? Styled dot, dot div. Div. There we go. Good. Save that. Let's go. Well, it still says not defined, probably because I misspelled it. <laughs> Header <laughs> search container. <laughs> Let me see. Header search container right there. Uh, come on, come on. Do us. Do it with me. There we go. Icon container. That's the one. Now, so check this out. You can see this. You see how this icon is right here. Again, we can fix that by using what? Something called display flex. Okay. So header search is right here. And so what we will do is we'll go to header search, which is where is it? Right there. We'll say display flex on this one. Good. Save that. And boom, right there, you got yourself that thing that you wanted the whole time. Okay. It's as easy as that, guys. All right. After that, guys, what's going to happen is we've got the logo. Let's go and continue on and continue building that structure. Okay. What's next? Exactly. So next up, we got the header nav items. Good. And those are going to be like everything else on the right hand side. So if mm -hmm. you can uh, take a look, if you can show us the finished product. Yes. Right there. Um, it's going to be everything from hello, Nazari account list, something that returns and orders and even the card icon mm -hmm. with the number okay right there returns orders and the card icon right there beautiful yes 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 yeah. yes 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 all right cool all right uh so for that uh we're gonna be just creating a brand new um style.div which is gonna be header um nav items nav items yeah good good good, good. that's gonna be another style component right. and this is gonna contain what this one's going to contain it's all contain these things. Things. Okay. Right? So we're going to have the header option. One. That's the one. Well, you can use the same one. Option line one, option line two, right? No, no, no. That's going to be inside of this one because we have the Hello Nazari uh, ah, it account. Be, it should be the same. It should be the same. No, no, no. That's they, what, look the wait, same. Look. They, look, they look the same. Look. They look the same. Look. Look. Oh, yeah. I see what you. Okay, fine, <laughs> fine, fine, David, fine, 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 fine. Then we have option line one, option line two. Exactly. God, option okay, okay. Line. So again, what's going on here, guys? Right. So we have the header nav items. So just so you know, okay, we have the header nav items right here. Okay. This is going to be the header nav items, and then the way we're going to connect this is this portion, the hello account Azaris. That's going to be header option. And then this is also going to be a header option right here, right there, right there. You see, we have option line one that's going to be hello, account Azaris, which is going to be here. So if we go ahead and type this out, let's go ahead and do hello, hola. So hello, comma, comma, good, good, good. Sorry. And then the last one's going to be what? Hello, account and list. Good. And finally, the last one from here is going to be returns. Let's go and type in returns, guys. Returns. Good. Good. Right there, right there. Good. Right there. So you can see what we just did, right? We create these components, header option, header option. Right? Both of both of these are header options right here. Okay. That's gonna be the header nav items. And I think the last one that we have after that one is gonna be the header option cart. Okay. That is correct. Yes. Yes. So let me go ahead and actually type that one out. Let me type that one out. Option. Oh. Yeah, let's do that. Sorry, yeah, it's faster. Okay. Oh, I see how it is. Okay. You, you can take it over from here. All right. You can take it so, over. So, header option card. There's a few things on the header option card, which is going to be, guys, this one right there. Okay. Just so you know, header option card. Now, for the header option card, a few things we need to create. Number one, the card itself. Number two, the number, correct? So, let's try that. So, the first one is going to be the card. I'm going to go to the material icons. Let's go and search, search in cart cart let's see all oh, right there this is a good one you see the shopping basket i kind of like that one let's go and copy this one go to copy the shopping basket go back to our thing let's go and import it here voila bada bing bada boom that gives us that that's awesome good 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 and so now if you look at our thing holy schmackamole <laughs> Holy guacamole. <laughs> Holy guacamole. So many things that we have to do are not defined, guys. Okay, so many things. But it's, again, it is completely, completely okay. <laughs> All right, superb, guys. Good, 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 good. So, so the first thing to do is go ahead. Let's go ahead and all these things are set undefined. Let's create them. So you can see he's already on it. So we have header option, 
it's not defined next what we're going to create is the header nav items right there good oh yeah mm, mm. good 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 that's going to create the head nav items david yes good so const header nav items nice and then the header option cart right there okay so we header, got that already we got that all right so we've created these style that is and they're empty i mean they're not i mean they aren't they and so we have a low account list and returns and orders now Again, horrible, horrible thing, right? How do we go ahead and now put these to be alongside? Well, we use the called display flags to put them alongside. So just mem just memorize that. If you want something side by side, then flex side it. Does that make sense? Flex side it. <laughs> <laughs> you just came up with this, right? <laughs> yeah, the display flex it. How about that? Oh <laughs> uh, yeah, exactly. So display flex, right. save that. You just save it. You just need to save hey, it. Hey, let's go. There we go. Beautiful. <laughs> All right. For the header option card, let's go and actually use this shopping basket icon. Shopping shopping basket icon. I right, will place that into mm -hmm. here. Form it there. Bum bum bum. Okay, so we got the basket icon right there. And then let's go ahead and get the, the actual cart count. So I'm going to create a new component called cart <coughs> count. Cart count right there. Boom. That's like this. Boom. Cart count. And let's say for now, I'm going to put a placeholder. It's going to say, for example, five, four. Just, just four for now. So let's go down to okay. here. Let's go to const, const cart count is equal to style.diff right there. Boom. Hey, Boom. look, oh, oh, come, come on. on. It's right there, you guys. Okay, good, good, good. <laughs> <laughs> Sometimes it freaks out. I know, I know, I know. So now a lot of things have happened here at this point. You can see we've got the pretty much the fundamental of this header, okay? Now, one thing we need to do is Let's go ahead and style this hello Nazari and the accounts list right there to be more like the way it should be, okay? So let's check it out. Well, for the uh, the actual header option line one, uh, well, line two, this line two, we need to actually make that into a font weight of 700. So let's go ahead and go to do option line two. Let's go ahead and do this. Font weight, 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 weight. You know, like that, that thing when you go to, you press the button, it says, wait. You know what I'm talking about? No? Ah, oh, shit. Okay, never mind. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so there we go. You see? <laughs> now, this right here is more, has more weight on it. So does this is more bold, and so is this more bold. Now, one thing I'll be asking, okay, so now is how do we go Ooh. ahead and actually space this, out, space this out properly? Well, how do we space these things out properly? Well, here's what we can do. On the container, you see it says align items. Align items, guys, just so you know, that centers it vertically, okay? Now, justify content centers it horizontally, but there's different methods to it. If I go to Flexbox, Flexbox, for example, okay, Flexbox. Oh, dang it, David just already gave it the answer. Holy moly, Ah, David. it's nothing. Okay, so Flexbox, you see, this needs to be your friend. Your best friend in the world, okay? Here's why. Because this is going to explain how Flexbox works. So you can see you have the container right there. And these are the children. So these are the div items. And we can, number one, we can put them in horizontal or vertical fashion if I wanted to. Or if I, for example, I want to wrap them. And then look at this. Look at this. Check this out. You see this justify content? I can space them out evenly. I can space them out in between. I can center them if I wanted to. Flex and flex star, pretty much anything I want. <laughs> Understood? Good. Now, this is the vertical alignment. Align items right there. Flex start, flex end, center, stretch, and so forth. As you can see, beautiful. So we can use that now, guys, okay? Let's use that. Let's go ahead and go to here, and we'll say justify content. Justify content. Content what? Space between. Space between. Basically, so what, what it's going to do, it's going to make sure that the space between the children is equal. Exactly. So if I go to Amazon, oh, would you look at that? Okay. Would you look at that? So Kick that, by. exactly. That's awesome, right? That is amazing. So beautiful. So now let's think about this. Okay. Now let's think about the, um, 
Oh, let me think about this. I mean, we want to do it for uh, nav items as well. Yeah, let's do it for nav items too. So for the nav, but I mean, I don't want, like for me, for these ones, these ones, we just need <laughs> to add them proper padding for these ones. So let's go now to the header. Where is it? Nav items. Nav items, these ones. So guys, mm -hmm. what do you guys think? If we want to go ahead, let me know in the comments below. If I want to go ahead and add spacing, right, in between these specific things, what do you think we need to do? Tell me. What do you think is something we need to do? Huh? You guys tell me. Put in the comments below, okay? I'm very curious what you know, okay? For what you learned so far. Well, for these ones, they had our option, kind of. They had our option. Well, a few things. We're going to do padding for these ones, okay? Let me go to header option right here. Right there. Again, remember, header option are these specific divs, okay? Boom, 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 boom. So for the header option, let's do padding. Padding, uh, what should we do? Padding left. Padding left, nine pixels. Left nine pixels, beautiful. Padding left, nine pixels. And then after that, what's gonna happen is what? Is that's gonna give it some padding left, nine pixels. Then we'll do padding, uh, padding right, nine pixels. Padding right. Right, nine pixels. Good, 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 good. And then what's gonna happen? Padding top. Padding the top is gonna be which one? Good, padding top is what? 10 pixels, good. And then finally, padding bottom. Bottom, 10 pixels. Whew, let's go. Oh, not one pixel, 10 pixels. Not even trouble. Huh? Come on. I know, hold on, hold your horses, man. I know you wanna do the trouble thing. So check this out. Now guys, you see how we just added Penny right there? And let me see what you guys said, because I think a lot of you guys have said the right answer. Let me see. A lot of you guys said the right answer on the whole comment stuff. Good, let me see, let me see, let me see. Learning so much right now, thank you. That's amazing, I'm, that's, I'm pumped. Good, yeah. padding. Pet Somebody said, could you do 10 pixels? Yes, good, good. Padding space evenly, space that's evenly. a good one too. That's a good one too, I like that one. So I said padding. Heading left. <laughs> Tell her you need space. <laughs> That's a funny one. Hold your horses. <laughs> hey, Sheila. <laughs> oh, that's funny. Padding. Good, 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 guys. Good job. Good job. So now let's think about this. So we got that portion. Now we can convert this side, guys, to actually something shorter. It's called trouble. Look at this. I want you to pay attention to this real quickly, okay? I'm going to increase the size of this even bigger. Now, padding. Look at this. Padding, and check this out. I want you trouble top. So I want you to memorize this specific word, right? So I'm gonna say trouble, trouble right there. Okay. Now what does this mean? Is very simple. Ah oh, shit. Hold on. Trouble. Trouble right there. Okay. All right. So what does this mean? It's very simple, guys. If you want to think about this. So go ahead. Uh, so add the amount of padding for this, David. Go ahead and do it. Do it from do, do okay. it with me right there. Let's do it. So ten pixels. So ten. This can be stand for top. You see. Then sure this right here is gonna stand for right. So that's the right side. Good. This trouble. Then B is gonna stand for bottom. Good. And then the last one. This is gonna be left. That's going to say for our left right there. So trouble, top, right, bottom, left, right? Top, right, bottom, left, right? And you can replace all of this just using this shorthand really nicely, guys. You see that? Yes or no? Really, really nice. Really good. Really cool, right? And so now I can remove all this stuff. Boom. Voila. Boom, voila. Oh, look at that, guys. Chicky picky. And then we're all good. Huh? Yeah? Am I right? <laughs> Uh, what? Uh, 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 uh. 522 likes guys let's get to 600 can we get to 600 likes oh no you guys can do it let's go let's go <laughs> mm. all right beautiful all right david can you go ahead and continue coding and what are we going to do work on next then next let's go to work on this input this let's work on oh, this specific input okay let me work on this i like one. that this one you see this search box let's work on that one right now yes all right so in terms of the search, uh, we will need to first fix how the uh, header search as a div looks like, right? Mm -hmm. uh, 
So where are we at? Okay, there we good, go. Good, 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 good. Continue, continue on. Okay, here we go. Good, good. Now, header search, we want to make sure that it uses as much space as it possibly can. I'm going to get some water, okay. Can. What's up? I'm going to get some water. Oh, yeah. Good. Okay. So, um... So for the header search, we want to make sure that it uses all the space that it actually has. Mm -hmm. So for that, we will be saying flex dash grow. Mm -hmm. Meaning, meaning, meaning no. grow as much as possible. Okay, think about it as like, for example, you know, let's say like like let's say this is taking up space. You see this thing that's taking up space, right? If I want to grow as much as possible, I say flex grow one, so it's gonna be as big as possible. Like took this big, you know what I mean? That's gonna be flex grow one. <laughs> okay. All right. <laughs> exactly. All right, go ahead. Say and um, it's just going to use, like, it's going to stretch out all the way, but it's only going to be the container for now. Correct. Because the container, guys, you can see is this one right there. That's the container, right? Which is this one. So as you see, it's stretching as much as it can. That's the container, guys, okay? Exactly. Go ahead. Let's con continue on. Now, <clears throat> for the, we, we obviously want to make sure that the actual input is going to do the exact same. Mm hmm. So. Let's see how it looks like up here. So we got the uh, header search input. Okay, good, as good, good. Component. And we want to make sure that that takes up as much space as it can as well. So we will do flex grow one in there too. And if I save it from here, it might not go. Oops, there we go. Okay. So hopefully you guys can actually see that uh, on the top, top of the screen. It actually shrinks all the way till the very end, and now even the search box, search uh, input box is actually uh, using all the space it can. Now, next up, um, because we already have display facts, mm -hmm. we just want to make sure that it is uh, the right. Beautiful! Look uh, at that. You see now the right input is fully growing right there. Beautiful. And then oh, that's awesome. So that's gonna be flex scroll one. So again, guys, flex scroll one. It's actually defined here inside inside flex box, as you can see. Let me see. Let me go, go back to here. See flex shrink and then flex grow right there. You see. So for example, this two is a flex grow one right here. Okay, that's going to grow more than anything else. That's what you guys need to understand. All right. Good. Uh, let's go ahead and continue on. All right. Cool. Um. So what we will do next up is we want to make sure that the uh, the the uh, uh, the container is 40 pixels high. So we're just gonna say height of 40 pixel. Um, let me save it. Nice, okay. beautiful. Okay, that's gonna look much gonna better. Much better, right? <laughs> yeah, so much better. And uh, we want to give it a border radius of four pixels. So it's just going to um yes. make a circular and a border corners. radius guys sharp and yeah, border is, is you can see if i go ahead and zoom in out here you see how it's so sharp it's like it's like edgy i don't like it right so a border right. radius is gonna make it basically smooth it's gonna be smooth so let's go ahead and do that so <laughs> what <laughs> so look at that it's still not fully smooth for a certain so further so go, let's go ahead and do for the border for because pixels. i for, because i forgot to put the pixels there but now it should be smooth now, it's still not going to be smooth, actually. Yeah? No, it's not. There's there's a reason why. But don't worry about that. We'll talk about that in a second here, why it's not smooth. But I want you to, yeah, what title. I want us to work on, actually, now, David, is let's work on this search box. You see this search container? So, header yep. search icon container, because that one has a very, very special styling for that one, all right? So, let's work on that one right now. Where did I lose it? There we go. I lost it here. Oh, come on. Good. So, and for this one, it's going to be very simple. In the header search container, what we want to do, guys, is is kind of the following, okay? Header search icon container. Well, for one, let's go do, let's go to add, let's go, okay, fine, let's back on color. That's fine. Okay, that, that's good. That's good. So back on color is going to be this orange color. So, F-E-B-D-6-9. So, let's go ahead and save this. Good. All right, awesome. Next thing we're going to do is we'll go ahead and give it a width. Color. Now let's do width. Nice. Good. 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 So width of forty-five pixels, okay. right? To give That's it a right. width right here. Okay. Give it a forty-five pixels right there. And then the last thing we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and give it a what? Well, a few things. Let's go give it. Go ahead color. and give it a color of black. That's correct. Yeah. 
Yes. So and what what does all this mean, guys? So let's go ahead and say this. Refresh this. So what does all this mean so you guys know, right? So here's the Amazon clone right there. No problem. Few things. We just gave it this little box. It has an orange. It has an orange. What's, what happened here? <laughs> it's interesting. Color. Black. Ah, we just didn't save it. There we go. Awesome. So what kind of happened happened here? Let me kind of stop stop sharing from you. Uh, all right. Okay, good. The thing that happened here is a few things. While we create this box, no problem, okay? And then we give it a background color with the width and the color black. Now to, we need to center it, so we'll do what? Guys, what do you guys think? Put in the comments, what do you think we need to do to center this? Well, very simple. Justify content. Justify, oh, display flex is first. Display flex, okay? Flex is our savior of the day. You know it. Justify content. There's content. Center, okay, boom right there. So look, you see, now right away, it's centered. Right away, Horizontal. this specific portion is centered horizontally. If you want to center it now vertically, what do we do, guys? Put in the comments below, what do you guys think, all right? Well, it's gonna be align items. Ah. Align dash items dash center. Save that. Boom, right there. Boom, Guys, you can laugh all you want, but I don't care, okay? Don't matter. <laughs> we're here to have fun and enjoy and learn. That's the most important part, guys. As you guys can see, we are currently at 400 people, 573 likes. Can we get to 600 likes, guys? You will be amazing if we can get to that. That will be awesome. I Let's think we'll stop here for a second and just be on him. It's and do what, David? I don't hear you. So let's just stop here for a second while everybody is smashing that like button for that YouTube algorithm mm -hmm. and it gets to 600. Exactly. If you guys have any questions, let's go ahead and take a look at what people are saying right now. What do we guys have? Well, there we go. 600, come on, Monet says. There we go. Like, hey. like, everybody. 575. Somebody says, sir, hire me. You know, I mean, you know, who never know? You never know. Now. 593. Let's go. A bunch of love. Hey, let's go 600. Come on. Come on. Come on. Oh, oh. Mm. Oh. 597, Adrienne says. Let's go, Adrienne. Yes. Can we get to 600? Yeah, beautiful. Uh, 600, Natalia, let's go! Whew, that's what I'm talking about, guys. That is how we do it here. Beautiful. You guys are always there to rock it. <laughs> so, <laughs> a few things I want you guys now to do. Let's go ahead and continue on, okay? We're not done yet, and we're not done anywhere. We're not close to it yet, so... You see, look, now let's take a look at this border radius. Remember how we did this border radius here and the header search right there? Well, check this mm -hmm. out. The reason why the border radius is not fully there is the following reason. If I right click and spec dump on this one, let's go and take a look at this. Where is it? Where's our header search? Well, it's pretty much here. This is the header search. And if we go and take a look at the CSS applied to it, border radius, okay? You see that right there? It's border radius four pixels right there. That's the one, okay? Beautiful. It's not applied because of overflow. Look at this. If I do overflow, hidden. Oh. Uh-huh. Yeah? Yeah, that's what I thought. Exactly. Yeah. <laughs> hidden. Da -da. Boom. Boom. You can see that right there. This is a much better now circular. You see, it actually has a nice concave shape to it now. That's exactly mm -hmm. what we want. Okay, so we got that portion, which is good. Let's finish up with that with this input box, which look, which needs a little bit of fixing. Which exactly. what are some fixes it needs That's to good. it needs? Tell me, David. So definitely a fix that we 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 can't just miss, and it just bugs my eyes for the last I don't know how many minutes that, that okay. we have that. Go ahead. But what I definitely want to do is making sure that it doesn't light up in the blue when you click inside, right? Okay, go ahead. So what I want to do is I want to type in focus uh, okay. with a colon. Okay, so basically on the focus of this input, so when I say focus, it means when I click on this, you see when I click on this right there, see how there's this blue hideous box? The way we know that it has blue is this hideous box because if I do focus on this, and if I do, for example, 
if I, I right click on this and I do four state focus, you can see right there, and I go to here, you can see there's this, there's this hideous outline right there. You see this in right there? Where is it? Where is it? Where is it? Oh, right there. Four state again. Put four state. There's a hideous outline. That's the. It's just so. Ugh. Look at this. Ugh. Horrible, right? Yeah. So what we do is we say focus outline none, which will remove that portion. And so now when I go ahead and refresh this and say so save this here, it boom, be. beautiful. It's exactly oh, what I want. I so much better. So so much <laughs> better. Okay. Next up. Next I want to do is let's go ahead and do the following thing, which is got the flags grow one. That's awesome. What is this weird trickery going on here? Do you see what I mean? With this, no. input, there's like What's space up? in between the the header search container and everything like that. Do you see that right there? It's weird right here. You see this right here? Uh, there's like something going on. I'm not sure what it is, but it's something going on. It's really odd. I'm not sure what it is exactly. Well, exactly sure what you're showing, but let me see. Probably there. Oh yeah. Input. That way out. Let's see. Input. Let me see. Margin zero. That's fine. Let's scroll one, which is fine. That's all good. I like that. Okay, so maybe you don't need to focus too much on it because I don't want to focus too much on it on this specific portion. Instead, I want to focus on the other stuff, which is I want to go ahead and focus. Wait, because there's this div right here too. Color black, which is good. That's all right. That's yeah, all div good. should be the icon. So mm. I mean, this search icon thingy. Because no, it's fine. Yeah. Yeah, that's fine. So I think the next thing to focus on is let's go ahead and add some spacing around these specific, specific portions, okay? So mm -hmm. this portion and so forth. So for the hello, select your address. Let's go back to here. Where is it? This one right here. Option line one, option line two. A few things we need to create here on the hello, select your address, which is going to be what? What is it going to be? I mean, you definitely want to uh, add a little margin, right? To mm -hmm. the header option address. Mm -hmm. Good, 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 good. That way, that way, we don't have to worry about the rows them uh, themselves. Mm -hmm. Um, <coughs> so I'm not sure if you want to scroll down or so not. I'm one already th one there. thing I want to do for the okay, so a few things I want to do. I want to go ahead for the option address right here. This option address. I here's a really cool thing. I can do command click on this, and this will actually take me straight to it. You see this button before? Look at this. Cool. I know. Cool, right? So I don't, wow. have to, I don't have to scroll down. Yeah, I know. What? I know, trickery stuff, huh? So command click or control click on it, for example, if you're on Windows. So I can do, for example, padding. For this one, I will say padding left. Padding left. Let's go ahead and do nine pixels to actually kind of move it a little bit more to where I want it to be. Okay, good. All right, that's awesome. So that adds a more padding. And I want to add more padding as well to the, the header search itself too. I think that's going to be really, really important, okay? So on that specific portion, let's go ahead and do also, let's go to header. Where is it? I'm going to close this out and we'll do do header. Where's the header search? Where is it? 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 Where is the header search? There we go. So command click on the header search right there. Beautiful. And then what I will do in this case is pretty simple is I will go ahead and do Heading left five pixels. Yeah, actually, no. Yeah, let's do that. Let's do margin. I mean, yeah, you, you can add like horizontal padding. Margin um, left. Or margin. Margin left. Yes. Left four pixels right there. Okay, good. All right, sweet. That's so much better. One thing we want to do now is we want to go ahead and add this this icon right there. You guys see that right there? So let's go ahead and add this icon. It's, it's called a map icon. And now to do that, it's very simple. Oh, look, this looks so good. Look at this. Nice. All right, let's go ahead and add the icon right there. So it's called a, a location icon, I think. Location, beautiful. Let me see. There we go. Location on. Is that the one we want to use? Yeah. Yep. That's yeah, all yeah. right. So I'm going to go ahead and copy this one it's right there. Beautiful. I will go back to here. Close this one out. Now I'll import that one here as well. Beautiful. And that will be it right there. Good. So we have this specific portion. No problem whatsoever. That looks good. All beautiful, guys. All right. So let's go ahead and get this. Let's go ahead and see where we're at. All right. I may have refreshed. All good. Now, let's think about where do we put that header thing. Well, a few simple places. That goes directly into, into the search. Uh, no, no, no. Into the option address. 
So right there, location on option line one, option line two, but we need to go ahead and maybe you definitely need a, a, a wrap different. this oh. into a header option. I had to wrap this into a header option, yeah. beautiful. Then let's go ahead and get whatever we have here. Good, thank you, David. Beautiful. Oh, awesome, thanks you. <laughs> All right, sweet, sweet, sweet. Good, got that portion. Command save. All right, so now again, hideous thing was going on here, right? Because you can see this this logo and it's on top of each other. To fix that, it's a very simple job. All I gotta do, command click on header option address. And again, guys, how do you go ahead and make them align horizontally? Drop it in the comments. Drop in the comments. You below. guys should be knowing it by you now. You guys should know at this point, guys. It's very, very simple, and it is our savior display flex. Display flex. Let's go and save that. Oh, right there, beautiful. So hello, select like address here is there. One thing I wanna do is let's go and align the center. So we'll do vertically. So we'll say align what? Items. Mm -hmm. Items. Center. Save that. Good. Hello, select. Oh, look mm -hmm. at this. This looks so good. So good. So good. Okay. So that Super looks amazing. Clean. That looks awesome. One thing you need to fix now, so that's there. Let's go ahead and fix now this the hideous thing right there. You see this icon right there, which is the which one? Oh, yeah. Yeah, the option which cart. Which is the cart. Yeah. If we go to option car, guys, let's go to cl command click on that one. That gives us to the style. All right. Uh, good. Now, the style, again, how do we line it horizontally, right? Very simple. What is it? Display flex. It's always display flex. That's always the answer, okay? Just so you know. Always. <laughs> Nah, right. it's sometimes it's display grid. Always the answer. <laughs> All right, let's go vertically align. It's going to be align item center. I got it, David. I got oh, it faster. Do? I got it faster. No, I think I got it faster. No, I'm, I got like, it faster. Like since last year. All right, awesome. Sweet, <laughs> sweet, sweet. Now let's go ahead and add some padding to it. I'm going to go ahead and do head to option cart. I'm going to give it some padding. Let's go padding. What, what padding are you going to give? What padding gonna give? Uh, padding left. Padding right? left. No. Okay. I would say I mean, padding right. I mean, actually, I mean, we can do all kinds of paddings because you wanna give it a room to breathe on the right hand yeah, side. Yeah. So as let's well. do padding right. Let's do padding right. Right here is gonna be what? Uh, let's do nine pixels. Nine pixels on this one. Good. Nine pixels. So that's gonna give some room. And let's go now add some padding as well. Well, left. I think we already, they already have padding, don't? Doesn't it? Maybe I'm wrong. Mm, maybe I just don't see it right. Okay, well, it's all good. Yeah, yeah, I don't know, I know. So we got the padding left, padding right. That's amazing. Good, 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 good. Now, so that's good. Now let's add some padding in between these items right here, guys. Okay, so let's kind of check this part out. So to do that, I'm going to go ahead and exit out of this. And the cart count, I will do command click on the cart count uh, there. And I'm going to add some, maybe, you know, some style to this one. So boom, boom, boom. Boom, right there. And that one's gonna be what? Well, uh, padding, what is it? Padding left. This is where display grid would have just like solved all your problems. No, it will one. not. Good. <laughs> <laughs> all right, so I like that portion. One thing I wanna add is when I go and click on this, you see I have this, this uh, well, I'm not sure what happened there. Um, I wanna, <laughs> <laughs> I want to go ahead and click on this specific portion right here. You see how it has that origin box, which just looks so cool. Uh, we can make that too as well. Let's go ahead and do that. Let's go ahead and do it on here. The way that that works, guys, is very simple. If I go to the header that's CSS, uh, if, I, if I go to the header here, what, where, where's our header? Well, it's very simple. It's the header search, which is right here. A header search, country. no, header search. Okay, to add that, I want you to look at this, okay? This is really cool, really cool. Let me go and find it where, where I usually have it, but because, okay. So, the way this works is the following. I do focus within, look at this. I can do focus within, so here. On the header search, I say focus within, meaning if I, anything that's on focus on the inside of it, I will do the following, I will do box shadow. Look at this, guys. A box wow. shadow, boom, right there. Yeah, no, yeah it's with cool, thing. right? It's so cool, right? I'm also going to give it a background color of white. Let's see, a background color of white. Okay, back 
background and see background color of white good i like it and then uh i think that's pretty much it on the side of the actual you know input stuff and i'm going to f also for the border now so that's good all right so let's go ahead and save that all right oh look at that look at this that looks so good and now and then you see how there's this weird thing going on with this border and i'm like oh my god i'm gonna get it but it's okay because it all it's it's a very simple fix i go to here header search input and then here all is just border zero boom right there oh, problem bad. solved oh, okay. indeed and we are back in business guys we're back in business all right <laughs> So, so far, what do we have? What do we have so far, guys? Who's pumped still with me, guys? What do we have so far? Well, we have the Amazon right there. We have the logo. Hello, select like your address. We have this. We have this. We have this. And we have that right there. Everything is there. We have the whole header portion figured out. And that, it, to me, is pretty damn cool. Wouldn't you say so? Right? Of course, yes. Yeah, I would say so pretty much, yeah. So now, dopest ever, ever. I know it's so cool, so cool. Let me see where, where you guys are at so far. Let me see. So let me see your comments so far. Let me see. Hey, let's go. There we go. Lexi, I have votes. Let's go. Nicola said. <laughs> so a lot, a lot. A lot. <laughs> so I said, "Lol, I love this guy's energy. I'm never this excited when I'm working." Yes, yes. Somebody said, "Make Kazi store." <laughs> I'm not sure. <laughs> Cosmic That'd be funny. Store. That'd be funny. That'd be funny. Awesome. Can you offset the box shadow? That'd be interesting. That'd be good. Okay, let me see. Good, good. Nice one. Good. Hello there. Hello Wait, there. Good this to David, see you guys. David, I'm thinking. <laughs> oh my god, that's funny. I like it. All right, beautiful. So let's go ahead and remove some of this this stuff. All right. So where are we on? Let me go ahead and take a look at our whole application. Here's where we're at, guys. Look at this. I will go ahead and make this bigger. Boom, right there. This is the whole app. It looks pretty sick. I would say so, huh? It looks pretty dope, mm. right? This is the whole app so far. We've got a few ways to go so far because we need to get to this portion, right? So we need to be able to get, add this specific portion right here. And then we'll add the card. What I want to do now is the following. Let's add the actual card. You'll see why in a second, okay? So um, on the card section, Let's take a look at this, all right? Now, mm -hmm. how do we actually do that, right? How do we go ahead and have a cart that's going to work with us? That's a good question. Well, the following. If I go to my app.js, okay, my header is there. I can also add a cart. So let's go and do create a cart component. I will do new file, and I will say cart.js. This is going to be our cart page, guys, cart.js, okay? Boom. Let's do RFCE. And RFCE yeah, RFC is just an extension, guys, for you to be able to have shortcuts. If you don't have the shortcut, that's no problem. To install the shortcut, you have to go to extensions and do ES7 React Redux right here. React Redux, uh, uh, what is what are these called? Components is what I shall call it, right? Yeah, actually, if you type in ES7, it's going. this is going to be the first yeah, one to show. Yeah, usually the first one's going to be React pop Redux, up. GraphQL, snippet, yeah. something. Right there, awesome, sweet. All right, what did I just do? What did I happen? Okay, there we go. Good. So, let's go back to app the GS header. No, continue the header. Continue, can I continue having that? Good, good, good. I like it. All right. Okay. Next up, okay. I'm going to add the cart. So I'm gonna say cart as well in here. Dang it, David. Damn it. No, I'm, I'm, I'm not even touching it. That's so interesting. Okay, good. And then what's gonna happen is I'm going to import the cart. See so how this cart right here? I'm gonna save this cart. Go to up the GS. I'm gonna import this cart. So import cart from car damn it no come on good damn. good 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 nice and now we have the card now we don't see anything but that's okay i will go to the card gs i'm saying well, we'll say card on here card let's see all right there card. so this is the card now but the question is now how do you differentiate this from the home page well, it's a few very different things, okay? We're going to use something called a router. I'm going to create another page called home. So let's go to source, source, new file, 
and we'll go ahead and say home.js right there okay home.js and do rfce good that's going to create the home one and i'm gonna say this is home good let's go back to app.js awesome and we'll also do home so home is not defined let's go to import this will say import home from what from home right there good nice so now we have two pages we have the card page and we also have the home page now how do we if i click on one how do i get to the other one that's going to be a good question well we're going to use something called react router dom guys react router dom right there not dome dom <laughs> react router dom right there so in React Router Down will allow us to be able to navigate between pages. Kind of like when you have, for example, you know, Facebook, you have a newsfeed page. And then you have, for example, Netflix, you have, you know, a page where you have all your movies. And then you have a page where you have all the, you know, an individual movie and so forth. Well, this will allow us to do that. And, exactly. sorry, I gotta get some water. I already loaded it in. I'm, I already typed it in, in the terminal. Thank you. So let's go ahead and open up the terminal. How do I do? How do I open to go terminal? Let me see. Command J. Let me see ZSH. Is it the one right there? So you can see Dave is going to type uh -huh. it in right there. NPM I oh, yeah, React Router Dumb. Let's go and do install it. Beautiful. Boom. Mm. It's basically just, and it's actually switching between pages without loading or reloading. So you know, with normal pages. When yes. you click a link, it's going to like go super slow and it's just loading and yep. stuff. In this case, boom, you're there. Exactly, exactly. So the way it works is very simple. This, for example, right here is a link. So you can link to different pages. And this is the actual route. We have a switch and there's we have a route for the about page, a route for the users page, right? And so forth and so forth. Let me go ahead and put this up for you so you guys can see it better, okay? Boom, boom, right there. Right there. So we'll do the same thing in our situation as well. Let me go ahead and make this just a tad smaller because it's a bit too big. All right, good. So in our case, here's what we'll do. We'll have the header, which is always going to be here because the header is something in common that both the about and uh, the card page and the home page have. So what we will do is I will have I will now import React Router React Router DOM. I will say import here. I'm going to say import and check this out, guys. Pay it close attention, okay? We'll do right here, import browser router as router. So that's the first I'm going to import. So I'm going to say, bum, 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 boom, browser router as router, comma, switch, comma, what? Route, comma, what? Link. Where we import this from? From React. Router. Boom router Dumb. dash dumb done donezo okay kaput good now <laughs> good mo all right so we're gonna follow the same path as they are showing us here which is a switch with the, with the route okay we're gonna follow the same path i will go ahead and do it like this we'll say so we'll say switch initially that's correct but before you do that yes. you have to put the whole thing in a router Oh shit, you're right. My bad, my bad, my bad. So it's we'll do. It's all good. I got you, bro. Got me. So you have to put the whole thing in the router because you can see here, this right here is router right there. So good. This, thank you so much. So cool. router, good. And then we'll do switch case. And that's it. And then this will now have different routes. We'll have one route for the cart. So we'll say route here, route. And the this. path for this one's going to be path is going to be dash cart. Okay, and this will have the card page. So we'll say the card component. So I'm say card. Boom, right there. The next route is gonna be which one? Path. Next route is going to be nothing. The home page, right? There's the home page, then there's the card page, and this will have the actual home page. I like to call it. So home, boom, boom. That's the one. Okay, remove all this stuff, and boom, shakalaka, we got it. Yeah. Okay. I just do a little bit of spacing. Good. And I want to add that that you always want to make sure that the last one in this case, like in a switch like this, is yes. always the slash. 
because yes. that's pretty much the full, uh, the fallback option. That's the fallback. Okay. Meaning, meaning if nothing else works, if for example, let's say you type okay. in a dash about and the route is not there, it will go to the homepage. So what is the homepage somebody asked? The homepage, guys, is this page, guys. This is the homepage right here. The homepage is this page. The car page is this page, okay? And so we've gone ahead and create those two pages. Understood? Comprende? Comprende, good. All right. <laughs> <laughs> Comprende. Comprende. Awesome. So look at this now. You see, currently we are on the home page because that's the default page, as you can see, right? It only shows home. But if I type in cart, if I type in cart, check this out. Yeah. Boom. It has Woo. the cart page now. You see that right there? It has the look cart at page. That. Exactly. And I can actually now link it. I can link the cart page to when I go ahead and actually click on the cart right here. Let's go ahead and do that right now, right now. So I go ahead and go click on the cart. Where's my cart? My cart is right here. My cart is where? Where's my, my link, my link, my link, my link. Let's go ahead of that JS right there. Huh? Right? You definitely where want is to the import. First, first you want to import. Yes. So of course, the first thing we want I to go ahead you, and do. Bro. Okay, you got it? Okay. So let's go ahead and import of link. Of course I got it. Nice. The only one we're going to use is just simply the link one. We don't need to use this one at this portion at all just the link from react okay. Photo down. And then what we will go ahead and do, we'll do link to, look at this guys. I will go cool. here and I will say the following. Link to, nice job. So right, he already already put in here in the header option card. All I will do now at this point and put in here. Voila, cool. done, done so. That's it. <laughs> and then look at that, it looks hideous now. Thank you so much. Yes. <laughs> yes. <laughs> so nah, we just <laughs> yeah. What's up? <laughs> so why? Okay, nah, it's good. I like wow, it. Wow, 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 wow. <laughs> Don't worry, we'll <laughs> fix this. So check this out. Okay, this the reason why it looks hideous is the following: because when you do a link to a cart, it's going to put an a tag. You see, we, before we had an a uh, a div, now it's a whole a tag, which is completely fine. Okay. All we gotta do is for the ATEC now do display flex and then all we gotta do is make it vertically aligned. So let's go to, hmm. actually maybe, let's do it this way. I'm gonna do a little bit smarter here. So I'm gonna say link to here. I'm gonna say, boom, link to inside here. I'm gonna do it this way, okay? I think it'll be, it'll be a lot easier for us this way. Boom. I think that will still be, oh, okay. Good. Nice, good, nice, 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 nice. That's a little bit better now. It's a little bit better. Huh? It's not as bad as it was what well, used to be before. But what we do now is on the A. So we'll do header option cart. Let's go to header option cart, which is below somewhere here. Where is it? Header option cart. Okay. I will say E. And then uh, here I will say what? Everything. Mm -hmm. Display flex. <laughs> Boom. Oh. oh, you see, you didn't believe me. Mm. I did. Mm. No, I did. I just didn't know what, what, what your goal was. Boom. Look at that. Okay. Let's go ahead and do at this point the following. We'll do color white for this one. So we may have to change the color. <clears throat> okay. Right there. And again, the reason the what, oh, what, what just happened here? Mm. No, this oh, still needs, need to, needs to display flex oh, still. We still need those. Yeah, we still oh, need this one, bro. Display flex. Now display flex still needs to be on here. Good. Good, you see right there. So the reason why we have to change the color on here, guys, is because by default, the A tag has a weird color. I have no idea why, but it does, okay? So by default, the A tag, which is a link tag, has the, has a very, really weird color, so we did remove that. And also, for that, we need to remove the text decoration. So we'll say text decoration, and the text decoration is this underline right here, you can see right there, you see? That's the text decoration right there. So we'll do text dash decoration. Ration, and this could be none. Boom, voila. Look at that. Now, look at this. If I now go to the home page, boom, home page. If I click on the cart, boom, we're on the cart page. How cool is that, huh? Hey. Blade fast. The sound needed for innovation.
I was David here. Wait, that's not me. <laughs> there we go. Hey, hey, oh, 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 oh. Beautiful, beautiful. We're back in business, guys. That's what I'm talking about. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so <laughs> what do you guys think is should be the next portion that we work on? Okay, so you tell me what's the next thing that we should work on, huh? What do you guys think? I, I don't mean, know, but we are at 699 in terms of likes. Oh, 700 likes, let's go! Mm, 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 mm. Beautiful, beautiful. You guys are always are the best. Energy is amazing. Look at this energy, guys. So good, so good, so good. Sami so said the hero section. Exactly, Sayid. That's exactly what we're going to work on now. Petro says the banner. Yes, Sami said media queries. Not just yet. That's what will come later. 700 Mayan. Beautiful. Special <laughs> things. The best, Nas. 700, 706 likes at this point. 717, guys. What are you guys doing to this? You guys are like smashing the like button too much. Too, it's the like. You know, which is good. I guess that's good. <laughs> Oh but my hey, god. Everybody was asking about the song. Mm -hmm. I attached it yesterday. Oh, somebody said hello from Lviv. What is up, man? Yak <laughs> Sprave. I am not from Lviv, but I've been to and I love it. I like to travel there. I love I love Lviv. I mean I'm from Ukraine, Ternopil. That's where I'm from. So that's amazing. Wow, 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 wow. That's cool. Nice job. All right, Natalia, Texas Aggression None. A little bit late with that, but that's okay. <laughs> 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 All right, so what's up the next one, huh? You tell me. So I said love from Bangladesh. That's amazing, beautiful. Okay, cool. Up next, we want to go ahead and work on is what? Well, <laughs> привет, круто. <laughs> nice. All right, let's work on the banner section. How how long we have? How long we have about? We have about thirty minutes, guys, to fully to still finish up the the banner section. The the next part we're going to work on is going to be, uh, well, this portion right. here. Year, the banner portion okay so the stream music for free and fun. so forth so <clears throat> let's go ahead and do that and where is that going to be tell me david it's going to be in the home.js file if i am correct right correct yes it is it's going to be in the home.js <laughs> file all right if we go to the home.js file which is right here okay a few things let's go ahead and convert this into a container container because we're going to use components as always oh, yeah. container yeah while you do that i'm just gonna be importing the style of the components God. silently so he's important to style the components right and right there beautiful so container 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 awesome save this uh for some reason it's give yelling at me for some reason what are you doing let, 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 let's redo the whole thing not <laughs> we're still at the beginning what's happening here i'm not sure uh that's okay. That's okay. <laughs> I'm not sure either. Container. Um, I got this, bro. Hold on. Just, just chill out. We'll, we'll be good. We'll be good. Hi. We'll we'll Hi. We'll be good. Woo. Mm, Dang. Yeah. Okay. No container. That's fine. Div. I like nah. nothing. Uh, That's fine. RFCE is the, is the new that's way. That's what I'm saying. Like, we are at the very beginning of the. Okay. That's <laughs> Go fine. On, man. I think it has to do something with some of the VS Code, honestly. There we go. Nice. I mean, Microsoft product. Yeah. Oh, come on, bro. <laughs> no, I didn't say anything. <laughs> All right, so cool. So let's go and do const container. Let's go ahead and create the style component, guys. Let's you could do style.dev. Okay. Okay, good, 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 good. Nice, style.dev. Again, this is a component, guys, okay? And this container is going to not, don't worry about that yet so much, but this will have two things. One is going to be the home banner right there so let's go ahead and do a one for a home banner okay so we'll say home actually let's just do banner so we'll do banner like this okay let's give me the banner and then the last one is going to be the content okay so that's going to be the content of the home so the content is going to be actually what it's going to be these portions so anything that's in here that is going to consider something like content understood comprende good so I'm gonna say content underneath this one. Good. Oh. Good. Oh, look at this. That looks so cool. I'm not sure what is that, what that is, but it's okay. Good. So content. Now the banner is gonna be very simple, guys. We need to make that banner into a much better form. All right. So for the banner, well, the banner you can see it has a background image, 
And let's take a look at how do we actually do it. If I go ahead and go to the banner and I do style.div, let's see. I'm gonna say background image. Background image is something. I'm not really sure what, but it's gonna be this portion right here. So let me see. Style background image. It's gonna be this URL, which I have provided for you right there. Beautiful. Right there. Good. Let's go and save this. Good, 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 good. Uh, can you go ahead and copy this and paste it in for, for everybody to see? course god beautiful good 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 nice 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 background image good so that's going to be the background image of this specific content and let's also now go ahead and give this one a uh, you know we need to give it a minimum height so i'm going to say minimum height so min height min height of 600 pixels david can you not highlight this please David, you not oh, highlight, highlight. Yeah, don't highlight it. Good, thank you. All right, main height. And then let's see what happens now. If I go ahead and go to Helm Banner, let's see what happens now. Container is not defined. Well, because it's not contained, it's container. There we go. Good, good, oh, good. That's it's a typo. Not, I know, it's fine. We all have <laughs> typos. It's okay, not the end of the world. It's all good. It's all good. Right, so <coughs> nothing's going on so far, right? You have main height of 600 pixels, but because of what? It actually shouldn't be in the content. It should be where, guys. Hopefully, you got that. It should be on the banner. <laughs> that was a test for you, not for me. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't even realize it. <laughs> I failed that test. Oh, that's funny. Right. We also made this background image in a bad way. This should be URL, like so. Exactly. Okay. And like then so. thing. God. And so we're going to put that. Ah, oh, shoot. URL. I'm going to give it like this. Bomb right there. God. Nice. Look at that. Beautiful. So we've got something along the line. 743 likes. Holy shit, guys. Can we get to Ooh. a thousand? Let's put let's do it. Let's do it to a thousand. Can we Come get to on. a thousand? I Heck mean, yeah. we have 335 people live, so if everybody smashes in, we should be good. If everybody smashes the like button like crazy, that'll be great. So yeah. min height of oh look at this, 600 pixels. Look at that. It's looking starting to look so so much better. One thing I want to fix now is the following, is the positioning of this background image. You can see it's way too big, right? It's way too big, not something I would like, like to use, right? Well, that's why David here is doing background position, position, right there, and that's center. Position. That's going to center it right there. So it's going to center it horizontally. And then he's going to do background size cover. Now, what does that mean? Let's go into this. So it's super, uh, super quickly, background position is the position of the background. So if it's center, basically it makes sure that the background image's center is going to be centered. God, 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 God. Now, here is the cool part, okay? Now listen up, all right? How do we go ahead, right? We've got this portion, look at that. I mean, it looks pretty cool. It's center, right? It's all amazing, right? right. No problem whatsoever. Oh yeah, the cover. We didn't explain the cover. We'll cover. Oh yes, the cover, thank you so much. Yeah, background Appreciate size cover. You. It's yeah. just make sure that it adapts no matter how big yeah. the window of the browser is, it's gonna be the exact, it's gonna like fill out the whole thing. Yeah, so if I go back to size cover right there, I wanna give you just a few different uh, ways, you see? So there's contain, there's cover, which cover will basically will take up as much space as it needs as it possibly can to fill up the whole div. So cover basically will always, always fill up the div. That's the big difference. Then we have back on contain, that's going to basically make sure that the height is can and the width is contained within that div as well, right? So that's contained right there, all right? And that's pretty much the big difference, honestly. Now, yep. now here's a question for you. You see how we have this, like, um, what's it called? This, you see how behind this, there's like a, it's a gradient. How do we do that, yeah. man? We need to introduce something called linear gradient. Mm -hmm. Now, that's actually not something uh that's super easy to type out but in this case we can actually do that yeah so uh, look at this i mean i'm gonna copy and paste this actually so you can, they can see it so it's um okay. i don't want to i don't want to confuse you guys too much but it's a linear gradient that's going to go from top to bottom and it's going to go look at this it's going to go from right here from black to white you see from black to well no this this is still from um from fully black right here right there Oh, yeah, no, no. Because fully black, RGBA. but with zero opacity. You see, with zero yeah, opacity. So basically, like, 
And yeah, what we're doing is we're mm -hmm. masking the image. And when you mask the image, the black portion becomes transparent. Okay, that's how that's the way that works. And so if I go ahead and save this, guys, check a look at this. If I save this, boom, right there, this is what we have. You see, now, look at this, without this, boom, with this, boom, donezo, done. Wow. How cool is that, guys? What do you guys think, huh? What do you guys think? That is pretty, I would say that's pretty insane. I would say, I would say, I would say, I like that a lot. So look at that. What do you guys think? Let me know. Ooh, let me see. Ooh, linear gradient, beautiful. RGBA, amazing, somebody's saying. Yes, smash that thumbs up, guys. Yes, you guys know it, of course. Always, always. Hell yeah. Give that thumbs up. <laughs> beautiful, all right, awesome. Let's go continue on. I'm looking at all right, so we got that portion. Now it's going to work on the content section, which is going to be the those product divs. Okay, the content section is going to be this section. Let's just for now, let's make the section, for example, just background, background white. For for now, background white, background white. All right, let's go ahead and save this. Okay, nothing so far. Okay, background white because why? The content literally has nothing inside. So I'm gonna say I'm gonna say. Blah, 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 blah. <laughs> <laughs> don't judge. <laughs> All right. No, I don't. <laughs> no. No, I just see myself. <laughs> I know, I know, I know. <laughs> no, for the background white, if you look at our actual clone, as you can see, you see there's one, number first thing is you would do is you, you see there's, there's some padding as well, and there's a max width to where it goes. You see this right here? There's a max width. Um, so here's how we kind of want to go ahead and do it for the content section. Here's what's going to happen. Well, number one, the container for this container, we're going to give it a max width. So for this container, let's do max width, width, max width of what? Of 1500 pixels. Look, mm -hmm. okay, check this out. Now, what does That's this mean? If I go ahead and go to here. You see, you see, that's a max with a, a 500, of 1,500 pixels. But, but check this out. You see, how do we now center this image, this whole container? I want it to be centered in the middle so that it's kind of like right here. Now we can do that using something called margin zero auto. Okay. If I do this, boom. Okay. If I do margin, margin right here. Now if I zero auto, okay. Now watch this. Watch this, watch this. Remember, remember before? Watch this. Boom, right there. Now we have ourselves a fully centered div. That's called margin zero auto, okay? Just so you guys understand. Beautiful. And now with that said, what now let's think about what we're going to do. For the content, the content is now here, which is beautiful, which is amazing. Okay, I'm going to, for the content, I'm gonna give it a padding. So I'm gonna say padding left, padding left of 10 pixels. And I will say padding right of 10 pixels as well. Boom. So it just pushed this to the this side, okay? Now, big problem here. Big problemo. How do we move it up? How do we move these products up? That's a good question. What do you think, David? What do you think, I David? I would say margin, margin minus something. Pixels. So, so check this out. Let's this is really cool. I want you guys, I want you guys to pay attention really closely here, okay? While I take a sip of water. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah hydration don't pay attention to me pay attention to the code all right so look at this um one really cool thing with margin all right so li are you listening let me know in the comments you listening check this out if i have for mm -hmm. example margin here let's say this is the, this is the content okay mm -hmm. now margin pushes it up so for example margin up let's say six pixels right it's gonna push this what this container down correct this whole container is going to go down yes or no correct if i do margin top six pixels yes or no but here's my question what if i do margin top minus six pixels the opposite what if i do that and it's going to be negative margin so look instead so of pushing basically inst up, instead right? of pushing it down instead of creating space here 
it's actually going to push it up. So margin top minus six pixels is basically like, it's basically like, for example, taking this container right here, taking this container, boom, and literally moving this container, this whole container, this whole container, I'll, I'll put a circle, up with minus six pixels, right? So what is the issue right now? The issue is very simple. Well, the issue right now is that we have this thing, which is all the way here. Now, how do we move it up so that it is where? Right here. It should be right there, yeah. Hmm? What do we do? Tell me. What do we do? Tell me, huh? Well, that is what, what we do. I, yeah, what we can do is we can do margin top. Margin top, guys. Yeah, top. And I would say 350 pixels in negative. Margin this top minus 350 pixels. Boom, shakalaka, we got this. <laughs> oh, margin, margin. Hey, margin. look at that. You see that right there? Margin top right there. That's all, honestly, we needed. That's pretty much it. How cool is that? What do you think? I think that's pretty mm -hmm. cool, huh? I think it's pretty Super cool. Super cool. Yeah, I think it's pretty cool. I love it. Right? So that's pretty awesome. So now we uh, have... What's up? Let me just ask you this because uh, it just came into my mind too. Somebody in the comment, Ho Dot, asks, uh, what if, what about position absolute? What's your okay. take on that? So position absolute is not something you want to use. You try not to use position absolute on, in any case. Position absolute is going to position it like directly there. Um, it's a... People don't use it. Oh, wait, you are not going to be able to scroll because yeah, uh, you because won't be able to scroll exactly. You won't be, you won't be, well, okay. no, technically you still be able to scroll. It's fine, but the position of salute is if you make a relative to that, to that specific div item, I highly recommend you don't do something like that. It, it takes it. It takes the whole thing out of context. So, for example, let's say there's a you know you know there's imagine this. If you have pages, right? It goes one page after the other page, right? If you do position of salute, it's the same thing as. Taking this page, ripping out. Oh shit! Hold on. Ripping, <laughs> ripping out the page, <laughs> and then <laughs> absolutely position it. Oh, hold on. <laughs> absolutely position it anywhere you want. <laughs> okay, that's called position absolute. So let's say position absolute top. You see, it's lost. Absolute position has lost its context. Oh, it's on where context it actually is. If you move the pad, notepad, it, the, that single piece of paper is not going to move with exactly, it. Exactly, exactly. So that's what you guys need okay. to understand. You want to use it, use it as less as, as possible. Was that a pretty cool explanation to you guys? I think so too. <laughs> <laughs> Somebody said, absolute is bad for your health. <laughs> yeah, so I would recommend you guys not do that, okay? Now, what's going to happen now is, let's go, how much do we have? We have about... 10 minutes that's just fine that's fine so we got that portion well, the next thing i want to portion is let's go ahead and actually go ahead and create the product pages for this section let me go ahead and do this good we got this portion that's awesome look at this guys next thing i want to go ahead and do is let's go ahead and link up link up what well we'll go ahead and link up the well what do we really want to link link up the amazon logo okay let's link that amazon logo here let's wait what back. Let's link the Amazon logo to be the homepage. Look, to be the homepage. So let's go. Oh. To, yeah, 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 yeah. So let's go to header.js. Good. Header.js. Awesome. And let's go ahead and okay, link is right there on the header logo. All I gotta do is gonna do a link. Link to what? Right there. Boom. Nice. Link is added in there. Awesome. Okay, let's go refresh. Boom, boom. Nice. Hey. So if I go now go to cart, you see this is now the link here. Boom. Oh, oh, oh. Look at that. Beautiful, guys. Aye. That is amazing. That is what I'm I think it's production ready, bro. I, mean, I, I really, I I really mean, do. It's pretty much production ready. It's pretty much. I would say so. <laughs> I would say so. <laughs> All right. So I sweet. So look, we've got that portion. Now let's go ahead back to our Amazon logo. Let's create now a product page. So, so if we think about this, okay. We have a few things now. Well, what do we have? We have this right here. We have this, right? And we have this, correct, Mundo? Yes, we do, all right? So 
the next thing we need to do is we need to now create what? A product, okay? A product. Now a product here is in multiple rows, right? We have this is one row right here. And then we have three products in this row. Correct, Mundo? Mm -hmm. Yes, indeed. So let's actually work on that. We're currently in the homepage, okay? We're currently on the homepage. I want us to create two products, okay? Let's think about this now. If I'm on the homepage, okay, on the content page, all right? Let's now create what? What do you guys think? Let's create the product component, all right? So here's what I'll do. I'll create source, oop, source. I'll say new file and I'll say product, product.js. Boom. So that's one product, okay? I'm gonna do RFCE. Boom. And that's now our product. So I'm gonna say product. Producto. Producto. Okay, so that's producto. Product. Yeah, producto, okay? So that is producto. <laughs> Guys, we're almost at 800 likes. God, you're so good. So good. 800 likes, that is insane. So producto. All right, home.js. Good, good, good. Now, on the producto portion, let's go and import producto, okay? <laughs> <laughs> All right, so we'll go to home. We'll say import product, product from what? Producto, so product. Producto. <laughs> Dot slash product. product. Tenemos any españoles in the house? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> Just ask if somebody speaks Spanish in the house. Uh, anybody habla is español? Uh huh. I, I do, you know, you know, I, I certainly do have to warm up my Spanish. Yeah, I know. I don't either. I know. I, I, I don't know. Yeah, me too. So look, so look now check this out. Okay. Beautiful. All right. Now what we do is we're going to now do product. So I'm gonna say product here, product, product, boom, donezo. Product not defined. Donezo. Perfect. Product not defined because I spelled it wrong. Good. All right. So producto is right there. Awesome. Now, producto is going to have a few different things. It's going to have a container here. Okay, good. Because it's going to do style components. So we'll say here, import. What are we importing, David? Uh, you need to be importing the styled from styled components. From... Yes. Mm. What did you do, bro? I don't know. It didn't like me. <laughs> from... Come on, come on. I got this. No, I got no, no. this. Styled dash components. Dash equals components. Okay. Good, 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 good. So save that. Press refresh this. Containers are defined. Perfect. Because why? You do const container. And you can see, guys, as I'm going through this stuff, right, I'm always able to solve the problem very pretty much simply just by kind of going one by one, one step at a time. As part of coding, you're doing things one step at a time. That's one thing I want to make sure you guys understand. We'll do background color here. Color. Let's do background color. What are we going to say? White. Correct? White. Got. Right, so Come on. Back. Somebody came in with Russian. What? That's or fine. It could be That's Ukrainian. fine. What do you mean? Ukrainian and Russian is fine. Where? But you move. No, no, no. Uh, in, in the chat. I was just checking if anybody speaks Spanish. I mean, somebody <laughs> said, Johan says, Johan asked, hey, why don't you guys respond, guys? I mean, we're trying to respond, but we're also coding, you know? We got 10 things at the same time, you know? It's really hard to code and respond at the same time, guys, all right? <laughs> somebody said, are we building the back end? No, we are building the front end, guys, okay? Somebody said, no, hablo español, that's funny. <laughs> <laughs> Producto nani. <laughs> wow, wow, wow. <laughs> So are we also creating the back end that could support a multi-vendor marketplace or is it just the front end? So we're doing the front end right now. So we're doing the front end right now. And then we'll have a back end side of things where we'll be able to connect this with a database. Okay. That's what we're working on, guys, just so you know. All right. So we get the background color white. My, did I say background color white correct, by the way? You did right? Okay. Let's see. Uh, yeah, I think yeah. so. Now, the reason why the background color white on the container is not showing up is... Well, a few very simple things. Let me go ahead and inspect them with them this one. Do we even what? initialize that? Yeah, we did. Don't worry about it. Yeah, we did. Okay. So let's go ahead and inspect them on this one. Yeah, where is it? Uno momento, por favor. Right there. 
producto. <laughs> there's a product right there. Good, 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 good. Now this product has a background color white. Exactly. Now to the side, if I do Z index. How do I do a hundred? Okay, maybe Something I gotta do a Z. What's up? What'd you say? I said something magical is happening. What is magical I is happening? I mean, you're covering the the whole thing that, that that's happening, so. Mm -hmm. So look, guys. It. You can see right now, we have C text and it's kind of like see-through, it's transparent. Is that correct? That's right, right? So the issue that's going on right now is that this linear gradient color thing, the Bob, is preventing a lot of things from happening, which is very unfortunate because I don't like it. Because, well, I mean, you'll see why in a second here. But what I want to do is for the product, number one, I'm going to make this product a Z index, Z index of 100. Okay. Good. Okay, that's fine. And then I'm going to go to, for example, home.js. I'm going to make this. I'm going to remove this. I don't need this anymore. All right. Okay. Let's do the content here. And this will also be, the content will also be what? A Z index of 100 pixels. Okay. It's still not working the way I want it to be. But now look at this. If I go to the banner and I say Z index. You don't have to have the pixels. So. Mmm, not not something I wanted to. Oh, wait, 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 wait. You you uh, you made a typo. I just fixed it. I got you, bro. Yeah, but it's still not the way I want it to be. Look at the Z index of minus one. You see that, right? You see. I, I think no, no, no. I think you want to have one instead of uh, Z dash index. Boom, and and you have you have to have one. Because the hundred is above one, so it's going to be above anyway. You're just okay. being explicit about it. Okay. So you can see it's still kind of not there the way I want it to be because the content is not still still not background color white. What do we do in that case? What do you think? Um I mean, can you actually like point on the screen with the pointer? Uh, yeah, like where where is the product? Because I still product don't... is here. This is the product oh, right there. Oh, that should be it. Okay, so there's a product that, right there. Okay, right. I what see. we're trying to do is we're trying to create creating a div. We're trying to create a div right here. And that's kind mm -hmm. of the hard part that we're we're going. Somebody said, put the index of one. We did. We put the index of one right yep, here. We did. Good. Let me see the index. There was a some some thing that I had to do. I forgot what what did I do before to make this. So let me see. What can we do in that case? What can we do to fix this product to have an actual background color white? Because the problem right now is that this product is hidden. Wait, what did you just do? I just changed the background color to blue from white and it's for some reason it's not working. But if I change it back to white. Mm -hmm. uh, wait, what? <laughs> Let me think. Let me think. So banner is the index of one. So product content. Let me see. What did I do on here potentially? Let me see. Because I always have it in different situations too. So mm, I think it has to do potentially with let me see max height. So product. What do you guys? What do you guys think? Huh? What do you guys think? <laughs> let me see. Use this hex is, value, this is only, border. Only f***ing out with wide, bro. Try Z index <laughs> one, Z index two. You didn't specify the size of the container and product component. Okay, so let's try this. So let's go ahead and do the product, the GS. Let's do the size of it. Let's do width, for example. Let's do the width on this one of, of like 300, 200 oh. pixels. And let's do height. Also 300 pixels. Good. I think... Now you Why see, is the linear gradient? What? <laughs> because the gradient is also being applied to this image too. That's why. So this but is the. Okay. <laughs> huh? Por que? That's just how it works. Don't worry about it. <laughs> so look, let's see. Let's take a look at this. And don't worry, we'll, we'll figure it out. Let's see. Background color white. That's fine. I think it's partially because. Let me see. If I go ahead and if I save this, let's go to home.js. No, it's still not it. It's not what I wanted to do. So Z index of 100. That's fine. Fine. Hmm. Maybe it needs to be display flex. What if I do display flex on it? Let me see. If I do the banner. What if I display flex on the content? Display 
flex. Oh, look at that. <laughs> Wait, what? <laughs> oh, that's funny. Oh, that's funny. Oh, man. You just put a display flex in the content and it yeah. solved it? Yeah, 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 yeah. I don't know why. <laughs> <laughs> that's a big issue that a lot of developers have. <laughs> like, I don't know why, guys. I mean, I kind of I understand why. What do you guys think? Why that's the case? What do you think, huh? Producto. Why did it all of a sudden become that? Because the issue before this was the fact that <clears throat> basically Producto was part of the mask, right? So it was being masked as well. The second I put display flex, though, what if I do display block? No. Display inline block? No. Uh, display flex, I guess, is the only option. Okay. So, that's a bit odd. So, I know, right? That's a little bit odd, but that's <laughs> fine. <laughs> that's really fine. So, the reason why it's like this, actually, is pretty, fairly, fairly simple, guys. Check this out, right? I think it's, it's because... <laughs> what? Jasmine goes in the comments because display flex fixes everything. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. <laughs> oh, exactly. Oh, guys. Somebody said, guys, if you have a problem, just type display flex. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. It could be some sort of magic stuff. Position relative. That could have been good. You only said flex is a... <laughs> you only said flex is a must. <laughs> but granted, look, is the index is still, still important. If I remove this, this, this won't work fully. Oh, will it? Let me see. Content. Oh, shit. This, I guess Zenix does not, does not even matter here too much. Let me see. So, content. Wait, hold on, hold on. So, that's good. So, Z index of one on this one. I think because it creates, it makes the content to be um, like its own container. I think that's why. It's not be part of it. So, let's Wait, go. Wait, I think. Uh, I no, think WebKit. It's just... No, it's this different, bro. It's different, bro. You sure? Yeah, yeah. I'm so sure that they need this. All right. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, I so, just started Googling. But how cool is that, huh? <laughs> <laughs> hmm. Someone says, because when you say display flex, the product product flexes its muscles and gets seen by people since it doesn't have chicken arms. <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh. That's the funniest <laughs> one I've heard so far. <laughs> oh my God, that's funny. Because it flexes its muscles, guys. That's why. Yeah, flex is always a savior. There we go. So that's interesting. So that worked. Okay, so that's cool. So look at this. Now we have one product. Now let's think about this. So if we had display flex, okay, what if we have two products now? Okay, can I can I say, let's say this, this let's see. Let's go to product GS, producto. Let's make this forget the width. Forget the okay. width, okay? Instead, what I'm going to do is let's do this. Producto. And now we'll go ahead and go to the home.js file. And let's add one more product. So we have two of them. Product. Boom. Done. <coughs> Boom. We have producto number dos. Dos. Sorry. Dos. <laughs> dos. So, producto numero now, dos. How do we, now, what do you guys think we need to do <laughs> in order to go ahead and spread this out, you know, so that they take up the full width? Well, that's very simple. All I gotta do is go to product, right? And I say producto, and I say what? Flex? If I remove the Z index here, will it still work? Oh shit, look at this. This has to have a Z index too. Oh my. That's Dang. a really interesting combination. So this needs to have a Z index. And wow, that's so interesting. I guess, I guess. Z indexes shouldn't match, by the way. I don't understand how this works, honestly, but this is, I mean, I mean, I know how it works. But Let's debug CS. No, honestly, honestly, guys, sometimes I don't know how it works, okay? I'm a teacher, but sometimes I don't know. <laughs> I'll be fully honest with you. And and I'm okay with that. <laughs> All right, so. Yeah. As we long got as it works. <laughs> exactly. It. So let's do this, guys. Um, Now, one thing I want to do is I want to add a padding. So let's do padding, 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 putting 20 pixels on each product. So flex one. We'll do padding of 20 pixels. Good. No, not, uh, yeah, we can do panning as well. That's fine too. 
I like that. That's fine. Let's also do the following. Let's also make sure that we have a margin of 10 pixels too. So we'll say margin. Guys, and what do you think guys will margin will do? Well, margin will do a few things. Margin 10 pixels. It's actually well, going to give a, us room to What? What do you mean? It's, it's working fine. Right? What's that? It's working good. Producto, right? So 10 pixels. That's awesome. Next thing we need to do is the following. Is so, uh, What are we going to say that then? See, a line, I understand. I don't want that. That's fine. Okay. Now, every product, guys, if you look at the thing, what does every product have? It has a title. Okay. It has a title. It has a price. It has some stars. It has a picture. And it has a cart a button. Correct? So, let's Cut add that right now. Are you ready? Of course. I am ready. I will... Man, you gotta get that in sometimes, you know. All right, beautiful. <laughs> That's how we do. Cool, cool, cool. I'm so ready. I even prepared a prepared the data for you. Yes. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. Holy mom, my computer's about to die. Awesome. Not my laptop's about to die. That's fine. I'll uh, Holy die. Cano. I know. That's okay. That's okay. <laughs> Okay, so guys, so we got the title. Let's go ahead and take a look. We got the title. What are we gonna do in the product? Product. The product is going to have a few different things. Well, the first thing it's going to have is if I go to the product, if we go to product GS, it's gonna have what? Well, the title is first first thing. So let's go ahead and take a look at this. Good, 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 good. So let's do a title. Right, that's gonna be one component. Right, that's gonna be title. Right, right there. That's gonna be one component. I'm going to go ahead and close this part out. Right there, beautiful. That's gonna be one component. And then in the title, after that is gonna be what? The price. So let's go ahead and do price. Price. Boom, right there. And then after that is gonna be what? After the price, we're gonna have the following. We're gonna have ratings, right? So rating. Rating right there, beautiful. That's gonna close this part out as well. Boom, beautiful. Nice, nice job, Nazari. And, and, uh, and uh, David, um, no. <laughs> I mean, I mean, who else will you know besides yourself? You know, sometimes you gotta do that, man. Oh. All right. Oh, of course. Yeah. Okay, we have that. Let's go ahead and save this. Good. So that's rating. That's good. So that's rating. Next up is gonna be what? After that one is going to be what? The image. So then we'll have the image itself. So we'll say image. Yeah, product image. But it, it's gonna, image is gonna close itself because it's gonna have it's, gonna, it's just gonna have a source, correct, right? Correct, correct, correct. Image, and then after that portion is gonna be what? Well, that's gonna be button. So we'll say uh, button. So add to cart. Buton. Add to cart. Uh, button. Button right there. Okay, and that's gonna be no, no. That will have an add to cart button right there. So we'll do button, and this will be add to cart. To add to cart, right there, beautiful guys. All right, so add to cart is right here. Nice. Okay, so we have the layout of the whole thing. Let's do this. The title, I'm gonna give it some placeholder data, right? The title, boom, right there, right there. You see, I'm gonna copy literally this. Whatever you wanna do, let's do for example iPad Pro. I don't know, whatever you wanna do. So iPad Pro, price is one thousand four hundred forty-nine. You can put it in here too, no problem whatsoever. Again, this is placeholder data for now, and then we'll be able to use the database to actually get data. Now, rating. Here's the cool thing about the rating. The way we can do it is the following. We can literally just do stars. Boom. Cool. All right, exactly. There's actually, you can actually just copy the star emoji and actually paste it in there, and that's the emoji that I will actually show you right there. It's, it's pretty, pretty damn cool. I will say that. And then finally, we have the image, and this down image is going to have a source of the following. And it, he will go ahead and copy and paste this for you guys so you guys have it as well. And then you have the add to cart button. Now, let's define these things underneath. And, oh, it's already been done. Never mind. <laughs> <laughs> so the title is a styled P tag. But actually, I want it to be a styled span tag, not P tag, span. Okay. okay. And then for the price, also styled span tag. Reason why I say span tag because the P tag has a lot of uh, styling that's automatically applied. I don't want that. Oh, that doesn't look so good. I didn't know that. Mm -hmm. It does. It does. Then oh. the product rating, that's going to be just a simple div. Then the image is going to be image. Add button is going to be a button. Now, the button is going to have a few different things, and then we'll talk about that in a second here. So now let's think about this. The title. Now let's talk about the CSS of this stuff. Okay, very important. 
Let's go and take a look at this. What do we have so far? Oh, shit. What just happened? Oh, look at this. It works somehow. Wow. That's cool. It works, guys. Look at this. Beautiful. Now, of course it does. I know. I know. I know. And of course it does. Now, <laughs> so a few things for this thing, okay? One thing I want to do is make sure is let's go ahead and remove this min height. Instead, I want to do is I want to add a max height for this, actually. Let's do a max height for... Um, should we do a max height? What do you think? Yeah, definitely. Mm, I mean, yeah, let's do a max it's height. Like big, big screen. You yeah, don't want do a max to go haywire. Four, let's do a max height of 400 pixels on this one. Because it's too much. Max height of 400 pixels. Because that will max maximum, that, that will basically decrease the height of everything else, which is good. Okay, save that. Refresh it. Nothing's gonna change so far, so don't worry about that yet. Okay, nothing's gonna change. There's a reason why it's like this. Okay, and then what's gonna have for the title? Um, let's do the following. Mm. I think the title is fine. Let's go look at the price. So the price is gonna be the following. So the price is gonna be let's see font weight. We're gonna change the weight of this one to make it a little bit bolder. So we'll say font weight of what 500. Okay, good. Make it a little bit more. Price. And then we'll do we'll do a few things in terms of like uh let's see font weight and then we'll give it a well nothing so far but check this out the price and the title you see how from the left from right well we need to actually make them from top to bottom so how do we go ahead and put the price from top to bottom or how do we put all these titles from top to bottom again Display flags to the rescue! Uh, what? I know. Uh, I know. When, when are you going to use grid? Maybe next Come time. On. We'll see. Maybe, maybe next video. Maybe. maybe. Okay. 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 So here's what we'll do. We'll say display flags. Remember. Display flags right here, guys. Display flags. Display flags. Beautiful. Okay. Okay, now you can see it put it from left to right. Now, to put it from top to bottom, all we gotta do is change the flex direction to be column, like so. So, flex direction, column, and boom, right there, you've got yourself something like this. See, right there, beautiful. Next thing we're gonna do is, look at this. I'm gonna say margin top here, margin top on the price, margin top, and that's gonna be a margin top of three pixels. Boom, beautiful. So that is nice. I like that. That's amazing. Now, the image. That's going to be one of, the, one of the things that I want to talk about, right? The object image. I'm going to give this image a max max height of 200 pixels. So for the image, I'm going to say here. Look at this. I'm going to say this one. I'm going to say max height of 200 pixels. Boom. Boom. You see? Big difference now. Now, Mm, so max is 200 pixels now for the object fit well here's what we'll do now i'm gonna say object fit fit now contain now here you see now right now how it's gonna stretch out that's not good guys that's bad right it's trying to stretch out to it draw to stretch out as much as possible we limited the height now because that's gonna stretch out as much as possible here which is not good that's not what we want and so i'm gonna say object fit no contain way. To save that. So if I go refresh this, boom, right there, object fit contain. Doom. Like that's pretty much what's up? Magnificent. Magnificento, magnifico, magnifico, beautiful. <laughs> so now the add to cart button. That's gonna be what the next thing I want to organize with us, guys. Okay, so here's the here's the button right there. Let's make this button a lot, lot, lot cleaner. And that's gonna look a little bit like this. Number one is for this button, let's do a um, a width of 100 pixels. Width of 100 pixels. Okay. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to put this here so you guys can see a little better here. What with 100 pixels. Damn it. And I'm going to make this smaller in that case. Okay. Width of 100 pixels. Right? And then what's going to happen is right there, that's going to change the width of this button. So let's go ahead. If I go ahead and save this. Boom. Right now, it's, and then the background color is going to be this portion. Let's create this background color, no problem. Okay, now let's do the border for this uh, specific thing. Okay, let's, let's do the border for this one. So we'll do what? Go ahead, nice job. So border two pixels solid. And here, this portion right here, guys, that's the width of the border. That's the style of the border right here. And this is the color of the border. That's kind of how you do it right there. Okay, guys? Good, good, good. So if I go ahead and save this, 
Beautiful. Nice. Awesome. Next up is going to be what? Border, Border radius. radius of two pixels. Nice. <laughs> good, 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 good. Nice. And what is it going to be? What? And let's save that. Hi. Okay, now we have a little bit of a circular button. Height of 30 pixels. Nice. Ah, beautiful. And look at that. That looks so, so, so much better. Now, we're not done yet. How do you go ahead and center these now in the center? Because right now, it just like looks wonky, right? How do we center this add to cart oh, button yeah. in the center? What do you think, huh? What do you think? I would just simply put like, um, use another div and then just put them in the center. Oh, we can and, do it. Okay, that's fine. That's fine. That's fine. Uh -huh. uh, what, what I would honestly do is introduce a new div on the top here for mm -hmm. the for all these details. Mm -hmm. So those are not going to be centered, but they are going to be aligned to the left. Okay, and that's fine. Everything is going to be centered. Or, what do you think? good, I like that. Or what we can do is very simple. I can go to here, check this out. Check this out. I can do, I can do this. I can actually create a div around here. So I can do, for example, here. I can, I can say the action but action action uh, section. Action section. Action section. Boom, 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 boom. <laughs> Did action you name it like that? <laughs> okay. What's up? <laughs> action section. <laughs> the reason why we're creating this is because look at this. I want to be able to create another div that I can that I can set so that it can go ahead and center everything in. So action section, look at this. He's already creating mm -hmm. action section div, style that div. And with this action section, all I do is a display flex. Okay, display flex, guys. That's pretty much it. And all I got to do is align. No, not justify content. No, not align. No, 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 no. no, no, I, no. I, I do both. I do both. Fine. Okay, you fancy pants. Okay, that's fine. <laughs> and justify content center. So what's going to happen here is here's what we've done. We created a container here called display flex. And then what we did is we allowed it. Okay, we allowed this div to be fully kind of centered vertically understood guys and this is why we did that and so it makes things a lot a lot simpler for so many other reasons just so you guys know okay good so that's good that's good we got the or, or place items and that works that works too so because now this is sacred. centered without the action section right here if we did place item center then the whole thing will be centered guys just so you know the whole thing this thing this thing everything but I just wanted this thing to be centered. And so that's why I created, we created another container. Beautiful. Now look at this. This is pretty cool. One last thing that I want to do, David, is you know what? Spacing. Okay, that's fine. Spacing is good too. Yes, that's, that's important. But not that. What do you want to do then? Background color of this page. Of okay. this full page, guys. We okay. are almost done for today. I'm not kidding. We, look at what we just created, guys. We have the banner. We have the card page. It looks <laughs> sick, okay? Now, what I want to do is I'm going to go to the body. Let's go to here. Let's go to app.css. For the body, okay? I want to change the background and color to this specific portion. I'm going to copy this. I got this, David. I got this, David. I know you want to type, but it's here. Right there. <laughs> Boom. Look at this. Boom right there. So, here's what happens, guys. Look at this. This whole background mm. color of... Ah, uh, actually, no, that, that's not good. I don't like that. Eh. Mm. Por qué? Wait, 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 wait. I think it's because I need to go back to now my app.js. And then for the div class name app. Let's see. App.css. Oh, yeah. I mean, if we are not using CSS, let's not do. Then let's not use CSS. How do I make this whole thing back in color of that? I mean, then you want to go to app.js, mm. import style, uh, import style. No, 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 this thing instead of what that, I, let's do it with a start component right so if you go ahead uh in app.js we import styled uh components mm -hmm. and notice that i renamed the div 
uh, with like th this this guy was a div. And so you far. can name it to the app. Okay, that's but, fine. Yeah, but I named it app, and now I'm gonna uh, do const app or, equals to style dot div. I mean, it's still the same situation. That's fine. Yeah. Well, the div, and now we can or what was actually the background color? What? what yeah, yeah. Oh yeah, okay. And now it's the same situation. What? what what's up? Whoa, that's new. App has already been declared. Yes, because you cannot do app. You have to do container, David. Container. Then we do container. That's all good. All right. <clears throat> container, guys. Okay, good. So container is what we're gonna call. Okay, good. Holy moly! That's fine. All right, it still, doesn't, it still doesn't do what I wanted to do because here's the thing. You see this bottom section? I think it has to do something with the height. I think that's what it has mm -hmm. to do. I think we need to work on the height of the actual thing. Let me see. Let me just think here for a second. We have the app. We have the app that CSS. That's fine. Mm. How do we go ahead? What's going on here? Let me see. Inspect element. I can't color. Let me see. Uh, separate window. Where's that window? Wait, what's up? Let me see. So what I'm trying to do is the background color. You see how it's it's wonky here. I don't like it. So let me see. Minimum height. That's fine. That's fine. Background. What's um, there's the yeah, image. We that's can add that color to the linear gradient. The what? Oh. Oh, here's there we go. That's why. Look at this right there. You see this? Oh. Mm, that's on the content. So that's what was messing up the whole time. You see this? Right there. You yeah. see that, guys? Mm -hmm. So now this looks a lot, lot better. You see this background white? That was the issue the whole time. Boom, right? Boom, 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 boom. So if I go, you see, this is why it's so important, guys, sometimes to be able to go, for example, to see the big picture. This is why I like to go into an inspect <laughs> element right here. I like to see the big picture that we have. And I can play around because, you know, going back and forth, trying to try different things is going to take a long time in React.js. And so instead, I like to go to stop. You I like to inspect element, go to it, check, check, uncheck, and check and see kind of what may changes that makes. And so that allows me to really easily see it. And so what that does now, if I go back to my home.js, if I go back to content, where's my content? Back on white. You see, I can just now remove this. Someone Boom. goes in the comments, try display flex, lol. <laughs> display flex everything. Beautiful. Oh, yeah. So guys, look at this, guys. Look at what he, we have created here. <laughs> As you can see, this is the Amazon clone that we have so far. How cool does that look? What do you guys think so far? Let us know in the comments below, guys. We have, it's been two hours now. Look how far we've gone. In the next two days, we're going to really finish this up. We're going to make this actually dynamic, being able to use it with a database and just make this a lot, lot better. We're going to create the car page, which is going to, which is going to be this page. That's going to be the next thing we'll create. And so it's going to be a lot more fun. Okay. A lot more, not, I'm sorry, a lot more fun, but a lot more, uh, what's it called? Um, a lot of fun. I mean, yeah, but a lot more dynamic is what I'm trying to say, but <laughs> So, <laughs> as you can see, at this point, we have finished the Amazon clone. You guys have done it, guys. Let us know in the comments below who was able to pay attention and actually go with me. If you were not, that's completely fine. That's, you know, that's no problem whatsoever. Uh, somebody said, are we going to use it MongoDB? No, we're going to use Firebase, guys. Yeah, it's like, it's just so much better. Yes, 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 yes. Firebase yes. is just better. Yes, yeah, Firebase is always better, guys. I'm, I'm excited for tomorrow, says the sun. I got it. Let's go, guys. So, guys, this has been an epic one, all right, with you. What we're going to do is we'll go ahead and put the link, the GitHub link for you guys to check out. Now, I have homework for you guys for day, what is it, day three? Day three of the challenge, guys. So, here is my homework for you. Very important, guys. Okay, check this out. All right, so homework. Homework. Okay. Okay, so homework. Okay, guys, you ready for the homework? This is what we need to do. Okay, so part one, what I want you guys to do is let's go ahead and finish up. Let's, uh, you know, make sure you have the app running, running 
as you know as up to date as up to date so basically make sure it's at the state that it's currently at make sure you have this specific portion finished up okay so that means what that means basically finish finish day two finish day complete day two wait day two finish no. day two now part two is gonna be what is part two is gonna be very simple guys what i want you guys to do is the following for part two go ahead and this is very important okay listen up to me go ahead and add your own your own style i want to see your own style okay your own style i want to see these images I want to see these product images look different. I want to see, for example, maybe the colors of this product look different. Add your own style. Maybe you want to add a border radius. Maybe you want to look the look uh, look. Uh, maybe you want to make this be more what's it called? The more uh, um, I don't know modern. Who knows? Add your own style. For example, maybe you want to go and add a background image to this specific portion, right? Whatever it might be. Maybe you want to change the image in here, right? Whatever it might be. And that is your own style. Natalia said it was so good to review component style components. Yes, guys, that's amazing, guys. And of course, we'll be able to go into a lot more, a lot more, uh, you know, uh, complicated things in a little bit, okay, for day three, right? So hopefully that made sense. So for you guys, uh, add your own style. And then part three, okay, submit your a screenshot. Screenshot to the air table which you will have okay and then part four put the screenshot the share with, share the screenshot right there share the screenshot the screen shot screenshot with everyone on facebook comment on the, a facebook comment comment below the homework and post in the discord channel under the homework post 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 and discord channel right there right so guys this is how we pick people is what how engaged are you on these type of things and you know what do we actually work on this is how we see you on the i see you so many amazing people i see them guys right so i want to i want to keep in mind that reminded that name make sure you're you stay connected make sure you're there the whole time okay post this discord channel make sure you post your uh your application in the comment under the Facebook comment as well. We'll make a Facebook homework homework post in a little bit, which will give you guys a chance to actually go ahead and you know see what we need to do. Uh, that, that's pretty much it. Now, so Ooh. any questions guys you have right now for me, let's go and take a look at what do we have. So uh any questions, go and take any questions you guys have. <laughs> Finish with you. Damn, that's amazing. Oh yeah says I finished this with you. Wow. I said liquid. I'm not sure what liquid is. So I said I want the PS5. Sorry, I cannot give you a PS5. <laughs> <laughs> uh, you guys are super fast. Yes, we are. Learning a lot. Thank you guys. I appreciate that. Nice. Somebody share this Facebook page and Discord link. Okay, um, Zishan, if you want to go ahead and, and join the challenge, do we have the link below the description? In the description below, can we add that? Can we add that, David? Not yet. Not yet, but I'm just adding it. So um, we will have a link in the description below, guys, for you, right? To go ahead and join this challenge. This is the only way you'll be able to actually, you know, uh, you know, you know, join the challenge, participate in the community, and be have the chance to win to win the full stack mastery bootcamp, which is by far the best bootcamp there is in the world. Just so you know, okay? Beautiful. That's as simple as this. All right, Leo, I have a question. Can you tell me the name of the remix? I can't find it. Honestly, Leo. Honestly, uh, what is it called? Doc Maz. What? Or some some something Doc Maz or something Doc like Maz? that. The sound. I guess it's Doc Maz. Just sure. just type into Google the sound and Doc, and it's gonna it's gonna show up. Doc Maz. Something like that. I I. I think. don't know. I don't see it here, man. <laughs> no no no. Uh, you wanna type in the sound and then Doc. The sound uh, and then Doc. Doctor? I mm. don't uh, know. It did not give me what I wanted. Doc, Doc Ma. I don't know. Maybe you can Shazam this. That'd be great. 
Yeah, D U C K M A W. D U C K M A W. The sound. Boom. Let's see. Mmm. Is it this one? Really? Duckman? Yeah, yeah. Duck Ma. Duck Ma. Oh, yeah. I don't know, man. I don't want to spend too much time on that. Duck Ma <laughs> is the name of the of the band. <laughs> I learned a lot, sir. That's amazing. Thank you so much. What's the responsive things you will, when the responsive things you will do? We'll make a little more responsive later on, guys, and in the, in the next few days, okay? I finished it. There we go. That's what I'm talking about. And everyone asks, how are you guys? How are you? How are you? Yeah, that, thank oh. you guys. I want to ask te tech questions, but don't ask how you guys. Yeah, I mean, guys, hope all is well. You know, I know it's, it's tough times right now, but hope everything is okay, you know, with, with everybody and so forth. That's amazing. Definitely learning a lot and super fast. That's amazing, Krish. Happy to hear, happy to see that. Happy to hear that. I was scared at first, but I made it, you made it guys really easy for us. Thank you. That's amazing. That makes me happy to, to see that. Saeed, beautiful. Your images are covering the homework. Where, 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 which images? Oh, my images. Oh, you mean like this image? Boom. Take a screenshot, yeah. guys, if you want to. Take a screenshot if you want to, guys. All right. Screenshot right now. That's the homework. But don't worry, we'll also make the homework post in a little bit, guys. Okay. That removed the, this removed the thing. All right. Beautiful. Link, link to join the challenge is now in the description. Awesome. If you guys want to join the challenge, link is down below. Click uh, it. Click the link below. That's the only way you guys, you guys will, will be able to join the challenge. <clears throat> true, true, true. Let me see. Let me see. Let me see. Who else? Let me see. What else we got? Well, thank you for the awesome work you guys are doing. Thank you. Awesome. Nice. If you guys, somebody ask, somebody keeps asking, do you want to, can I please get a PS5? That's not going to happen, guys. <laughs> <laughs> That's Come fun. on. That's Don't not going to happen, guys. Sorry. Bad. You guys are amazing. Thank you so much, guys. Any questions you guys have? Any questions you guys have? How are you? I'm doing great. I'm doing amazing, guys. The fact that I'm here with you teaching, that to me is the best thing ever. Clever are the best programmers. Yes, indeed. Clever programmers are the best programmers. We are the best programmer community out there. Dunzo. That's all I can say. Bro, how do you... Nom, 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 nom. Any, pre pre any prerequisites for Firebase? No, not really. All you gotta do is make sure you create the account in Firebase. That's the only thing I will ask you. But prerequisites? That's just no. A Gmail account. No, that's all. Nothing if you much, have a Gmail account, that's it. Sir, I love a lot, sir. Are you going to use Redux? Maybe. Maybe. That's a maybe. Maybe yes, maybe no. Maybe we'll use Redux. That'll be actually pretty good. I think that'd be really awesome for us to use Redux. Maybe we can use Redux. Yes or no? Yes. AWS versus Firebase. Well, um, so good question. I mean, Firebase is a very, very popular, you know, uh, database. AWS, I mean, is is more than just Firebase. <laughs> just so you know, guys. No, AWS is everything. It's been able to deploy to instances. It's been able to have like, it, AWS pretty much can do anything on, you know, for your project. May that be to serve on a server. May that be to have different servers. May they be to scale, right? Firebase is mainly made for kind of database, you know, uh, and so forth. Database There's many storage. different, for example, you, you AWS, can, go ahead. You can host of that. Oh yeah, yeah sorry. Yeah, but AWS, oh. for example, has many different fire databases, like AWS, right? So there's uh, there's MySQL database, there's a NoSQL database, and so forth. Firebase is just a NoSQL database, guys, all right? And so there's a lot more to AWS. And which one would I recommend to learn? I would recommend for you guys to learn both. No Firebase and also no what? No AWS. AWS. So that is my condition to you, okay? Comprending? Good. Awesome, life series. Thank you so much. Appreciate you guys. So, guys, who is in the challenge? Let me know down in the comments below, guys. Who's still pumped with us to complete the challenge for day three to be tomorrow? What I want you guys to do right now, really quickly, guys. Everybody, right now, okay. Everybody, make sure you guys go ahead and 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 what, guys? Very, very important, guys. Okay, let's go ahead and go this. Ooh, beautiful, beautiful. Let me see. Let me see. Uh, let's see. Let's see. What I want you guys to do is really quickly, guys, make sure you go ahead and set alarm clocks for tomorrow for 11 a.m. PST, right? For 11 PST, where's my 11? Right there. Boom. 
11. Actually, it's set, <laughs> set it for 10.50 p.m. 50 p.m. PST, right? Very important, guys. If you've done this, let me know down, the, down in the link. Uh, not, no, down, pff, let, me do, let me know down in the comments below. Uh, that way I know that you guys have set the limit. No, not the limit. Set the alarm clock. <laughs> 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 set the limit. What am I thinking about now? I don't know. I don't know. It becomes hard to talk sometimes when you, when you, you know. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Okay, so let me say I missed day one. Where can I day? Where, where can I get day one? Don't worry about this. For day one, it's on YouTube. Go to YouTube. Go to our channel. There's a day one of the challenge. Watch that video. Subscribe and subscribe and like and then share. Don't forget that. And then everything else you gotta do. <laughs> exactly. Natalia says, "Thank <laughs> you so on. much for today. Cannot wait for tomorrow. Thank you, Natalia." I love seeing you in the comments. Always, always a lot of a lot of positivity. That's always amazing, guys. So cool, guys. So at this point, guys, what are we gonna do? Hey. If you're not in the challenge, make sure you click the link below. Join there. This is the way you'll be able to participate in the community. Join the Facebook community. Join the Discord community, guys. Participate as much as possible. You know, do the homework. Leave comments. Every time you do the homework, make sure you leave the comment down underneath the homework post. Comment what you've done. Make a screenshot. That is how you inspire other people. That's how we notice you in terms of for you to win a prize. This is very, very important, guys. Okay? So, at this point, at this point, what are you going to do? Well, guys, it's been amazing. It's been fun. I love you all very much. I want to see you day three. Who is pumped for day three? Let me know below. By the way, how many, how many likes do we have on this video? Do we know? I don't know how many likes we have on the video. 884, dude. Let's we go. Can put it up to 900, bro. Guys, can we get 900 likes, guys? <laughs> can we get 900 likes? Oh, oh. We got David on here, right here. Where's David? David, he's in the corner. It, bro. Guys, let's get to 900 likes. Come on. guys i am pumped for you guys to continue at this point all i can say is have yourself an amazing day and i'll see you tomorrow